today we're going to talk about how to deal with player character death. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, that was quick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. We, Does we my stress go away? Uh, yes, it should be set to zero. Yeah. Also, just like a housekeeping thing, could we at some point get a couple more blank sheets for support? That's not my notes. Oh, that's a that's a different set of notes. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? There you go. <laughs> well, I how, can't how much answer time that for you, Cap. But I think you need to talk to Dia for that. Yeah, that's well. <laughs> that and more. Well, you have such or a... or Zolan. Uh, yeah. Yikes! I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> GM, you're gonna yeah. kill me. Oh well, no, there is a star date in it. It is just not the star date. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, because you get you get the message before you get there. Yeah. And wait. Does uh, oh, does the termination? Uh... uh, well, we shall explain. Well, yeah. Shall be explained. Uh, give me, give me a moment to just. Okay. Captain's log, start date five three eight five zero point one. The USS Kismet is currently en route to Bamoth, a Class M world within the bounds of the Klingon Empire got a Class A starport. As things stand, we have been given orders and a warrant to arrest Irene Adler. She's believed to be on a vessel, the SS Tora, and is currently fleeing across Klingon space with Kalkit crystals aboard and using an illegal cloaking device. We have a warrant, again, we have a warrant for her arrest, and even uh, extradition uh, papers with the Klingon Empire. We're also to uh, rescue any Kalkit crystals in possession of the Torah or Adler, and we are ordered at maximum warp to effect this arrest. We have been given the uh, we have the Klingon Empire has pledged their assistance in the matter, and there are a few Klingon patrol ships in the area who have been alerted that she is wanted by the Federation. They will do what they can to help. As much as I wish that I had Evans here to uh, give me assistance with this, after all, she was around during the initial uh, occurrence on Kalkit, he has been reassigned. Instead, there is a new security chief on board the Kismet who I'm going to have to bring up to speed. We're currently proceeding at maximum warp, and we should be arriving at the Moth soon. End log. Cool. Uh, to update everyone, it's been about uh, about five and a half days since your last mission. Uh, was there anything uh, any of the characters wanted to do in the form of downtime actions or uh, any personal projects uh, characters wanted to do? Okay. Or roleplay moments, for that matter. Yeah. Um, I have nothing planned out. But I'm up for any any play if anyone wants to. I remember there was something that I then yeah. forgot about. Hold on a <laughs> second. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, also... Dang it. Let me think. Just a sec. Got a couple blank sheets in uh, support if people need them, just as a heads up. Cool. Thank you. Huh? But that notwithstanding, uh, a lot of you are on duty, uh, en route to uh, the Bemoth uh, system. Uh, the planet, the Klingon planet of Bemoth is up ahead. Hmm. All right. Give me a sec. I'm doing this thing that you have to do in Notepad when you're when you're dealing with long lines of text where you got to put in a bunch of 
return so that you can actually read everything. I'd say just use word wrap, man. Oh, that. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ace window skills here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was there the whole time. Uh. Uh, I am not an intelligent man. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Um. Uh. Not that we need to role play it or anything, but um, in order to make up for some of the uh new pressures that have been put on her. Uh, Zenobulans don't really need to sleep except for one week, like every four years or something like that, uh, which we covered. Uh, so she hasn't been sleeping. Uh, but when she's not on duty, she's been reading the rule book. Mm. Because she's a, she's essentially first officer right now. <laughs> she's like, I am woefully unprepared for this job. Um, uh, you can give me a reason plus con uh, difficulty okay. two, assisted by the ship's um, computer's con. Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't have a focus, so it's fine. Um... Well, yep. That's about right. Oh my yeah. god, and look what the dice rolls are. Wow. Ephrix. 17, 18. Ephrix, why? Well, start. at least this is not an important roll. Why are you <laughs> like this? So... I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I remembered what I was going to do. Oh, because okay. I wrote it down like a smart person. Um, was, I was going to start trying to um, look into Calcut Crystal Communication trying to theorize on that and maybe build some computer models around it. Essentially, I'm trying to start to build something into the basis on which a communication could be founded without uh, telepathy. It would be a... I would call that a reason engineering role. Um, difficulty of four, complication right. two, um, because you're basically trying to get the universal translator to help you out on the, uh, to help you mm -hmm. translate back and forth quickly. I will say this right, is right, and I think I'm using. Hmm. I will say though, this is absolutely the kind of thing that you would use. Uh, uh, what's it for? The it's not the scientific method; it's the other thing, the R and D. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. If it, if it was a longer term thing, like building a whole new warp core, um, like another ship I've run d did, it, that's how I would treat it. But this is a universal. You guys have encountered them before. They're uh, okay. I can see this as a one off. Yeah, um, I'm also using the holodeck to try and structure like radiation fields because I know that's part of how they communicate. Yep. So, doing that too. Uh, I think I could leverage a focus in either linguistics or photonics for this. A linguistics, totally. All right. Insisted by the ship's computers, something? Computers engineering. <clears throat> okay. I'll roll them computers engineering. Oh, and you're rolling a reason task, aren't you? I am. Oh, god damn android bullshit. With a focus. Ow. Uh, there we go. Alright, so that's three successes. That's four successes. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so you basically created the advantage, for now at least, of and, and a... And one lower, and that would have been a crit on the part of the ship. <laughs> Oof, yeah. Uh, you would have... Uh, you're able to construct a system that the at least the... Uh, the ship can... The Kismet can... Uh, oh, brain. Produce. The Kismet's Universal Translator can communicate. Now... For it to be something that's a lot more nuanced and something a diplomatic attaché could use, that will take more time. But for now, right. this is enough that you can talk to them. And we got basic reasonably communication. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Some tweaking. Uh, did we generate any momentum off that? No, oh, we just, just made it. Oh wow, that was yeah. oh it was difficulty four. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, I've been running some um, some uh, work on uh, on the sensor array uh, to make sure that we that we have a good preset for um, for potential that we since she's using an illegal cloaking device mm -hmm. it's uh, that it works faster to uh, decipher the frequencies I would call that a reason or uh, control interestingly enough uh, plus security role to configure the sensors to detect uh, a cloaked vessel. Cool. Uh, uh, difficulty of um, for now three because there's information you don't have. Okay. Since I don't have to sleep, can I also help with that? You could help with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll have uh, task roll two. I don't think I have... I have Infiltration as a focus. Nah. Uh, I'll give it to you an increased complication. Um, eh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to fuck up the sensors. Uh, oh, yeah. Because, yeah. boy, I'll tell you, if he gets a complication here, he's going to mess with our sensors something good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to use it. So, uh, complication range one, task one, two, yeah. And using control Ooh. security. Well, oh dear. That means. Well, that... I'm not helping you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, that's that that's an Efrix level roll. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Aran, you try to configure the sensors on this thing, um, on the Kismet, and the Kismet sensors you have now uh, learned over the course of a few days that are particularly finicky. Um, the advanced sensor suites are actually having the opposite effect. Instead of making it easier, it's actually overcorrecting. So it's actually trying too hard to look for what you're, and it's giving you false positives. So you end up, mm -hmm. uh, you're like, there's like, you get five days in and you're like, oh, I must have figured this out. Wait, there's a cloaked vessel to our port. And then you look at it, like get a visual and it's a rock that happens to have some material, some iron in it. It's like, oh. All right. Well, that's it, no good. This is. It, I just it, wasted five days on this. Ah, uh, it was a rock. <laughs> and Mitha's like, leave sensors to me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of course. It's, it's one of those things where, you know, it's a big, big rack of equipment that has like a bajillion knobs. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm used to this having five knobs, not 50. Jeez. Yeah, yep. something like that. And since uh, I can, can't really improve on the engines or deal with any uh, wrecked. Um, wrecked shuttles because we don't have any wrecked shuttles. Yeah. Not much to do. Uh, Pen, you right. wanted to do a thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was wanting to look into accessing a a certain file which I shouldn't have access to. Oh right, <clears throat> uh, that'll be. Daring uh, security or daring con? Oh wait! Oh wait! No, no! I gave you the numbers before in private message. Whoops. Yeah, it's either, it's reason slash presence plus command slash security. Yeah. Uh, so you can take your pick of which of those you want to use because it, it it just changes the approach you're getting at, and I imagine your your character will go with the approach that works that they have the best chance at. Hey, this is pen. You never know. I, that's true. Don't know the irony. Both and all of that together it gives me the exact same roll number. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might as well try out my new and improved command stat. Oh, you've been, been fussing around with that, have you? I have. There it is, yeah. That's a 1 and a 19. Ooh, buddy. And you can give me as well... Um, that is enough to succeed. The difficulty was 2. Um, but do you want to use the sh any of the resources on the ship, or are you going to just try to do it? Because uh, with Presence Command, you basically talk to some people. You just 
messages a few people and try to just ask them very direct questions. Tell me what you know or what you can tell me. And you're getting answers, but you could use some of the staff aboard the Kismet to kind of help you out. But I don't know if you want to pull them into it or not. No, not just yet. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. uh, you do find out uh, that there are that there are certain files that are being declassified um, and that Starfleet Security is looking uh, more closely at the incident um, and that the classification uh, may be incorrect, but that is inconclusive as there's now an open investigation. And Starfleet Security just never... It's not that they were trying very hard to keep it secret. They just never alerted anybody that they opened the investigation. But you have a high enough rank and clearance that you were able to ask, and you knew who to ask. Um, who? And they're like, oh yeah, that that investigation's open again. Yeah, like, or there there, there is an investigation at all, and this, the file's unsealed. It's like, oh. But the details of it are still uh, closed off to you. You'd have to, but you do know who's heading the investigation, and you know who has access to the files. Okay, that, that's that's more than enough for now. That's something I can work on over time. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have two two questions. Um, first off, it's okay if we don't do it this time, but. You said that there was something you wanted to do with the kismet because of my rep. Oh right. Hold if, on. If you don't, if you don't want to do it this time, that's fine. But uh, it's because of high rep, isn't it? It is. Yep. Um, yep because I have have the fifteen. Uh, you're told uh, as part of that file you got. Uh, Captain Calder uh, also appends a personal note. Uh, that. Should this succeed, um, you mean our capture of Adler? Yep. Yeah. Uh, should this succeed, uh, he will put. He intends to put in a good word for you regarding uh, a future assignment that he's going to need help with, and it could involve getting you. It could fast track you into the uh, getting your bar. Oh wow. But he's he's telling you, and in the personal, it's just be careful. This is there's a lot riding on this, and he can't tell you what? who is riding on it or what is. But this is incredibly important. This doesn't fail. Hmm, <laughs> buddy. And he only tells you that because your rep's so high. He's willing to let you know that. That that there's a little bit more to this than just oh, go arrest this woman. Yeah. Yeah. I... Um, and second off, uh, I would like to call our new security dude <laughs> up to uh, up to my ready room, and he doesn't have a sheet, does he? He does. I don't see it. I mean, dude or dudette, let's not get into genders. Oh, I don't. Ha I didn't give it to you. Access. My bad. That's my bad. Sorry. I thought I did. Yes, dude. Neutral. There you go. Well, I have a picture, so. No. <laughs> That's a cool one. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> and Captain's gonna tap his com badge. Captain Grunin to what is he? He's a okay. To Chief Raiden, Varder, or Varder is, is, is oh, oh right, it's it's. it's... Jor and swap those around here yeah. <sighs> to be even more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Grunin to Chief Varder. Yes, Captain. Uh, I'd like it if you could please report to my ready room. Uh, I have a security briefing that I need to go over with you before we arrive. 
Be there soon, sir. Mm -hmm. He taps on his comm badge again. Uh, Dr. Ephrix. Yes, Captain? I'm gonna need you up in my ready room with uh, our new chief of security. We have to go over these security briefings. Of course, sir. I'll be right there. And he leans back in his chair. After a short span of time, uh, the doctor and the chief uh, step into the ready room. So uh, I think this would be a good opportunity to sort of introduce us to Vardar. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, feel you, you were saying something? Oh, I was just going to say, feel free to uh, give character descriptions, if you like, in rank. All right, well, uh, Barter Radun is, uh, five foot eleven Bajoran fellow, you know, the rich nose, the airing going on, light stubble beard, uh, slightly. It might be product, it might not be product, but his hair is back, uh, not overly slick dude back, but, you know, slightly longer behind the ears kind of thing. Um, decent build, kind of bulky. He's a Master Chief Petty Officer, so still a non-commissioned officer. <laughs> but uh, he, he definitely looks like he's seen some stuff. He's got sort of light markings and gaps and stuff like that on his face. That could be scarring. Hmm. Um, uh, Efrix, you want to describe your character to him? Um... Sure. Uh, Eprix is uh, five foot two, um, Zenobulan, uh, so the facial ridges are there. Uh, Longish, uh, kind of reddish hair, um, pulled back into a uh, kind of curly ponytail. Um, she's dressed in a doctor's uniform. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then you got the captain, who, uh, you would have read his file, probably, Varder. Just, you know, security chief, you kind of have to know who your, the rest of your senior staff is gonna be. Yeah. Um, he's the same age as you. Uh, you know that for a fact. But looking at him, he doesn't look it. He looks maybe four, four or five years younger than 31. Uh, sort of this neatly combed, uh, coppery red hair, uh, and I wouldn't say he looks jittery, but, um, uh, he, he has, he has that look like he's sort of trying too hard to be composed. Interesting. Uh, ah, G. Varder. Uh, please, take a seat, take a seat. And, uh, you, Commander? Mm hmm Thank you, Captain. Captain. All right. Now, I don't know how much of the security briefing you've been able to, uh, get a look at, Chief, but, well, we have a very tense situation on our hands. Uh, Chief, if you would, uh, not Chief, uh, Commander, if you would mind giving a brief overview of the Cowcat and the Cowcat crystals? Um, of course, Captain. Uh, we've come into contact with, uh, a crystalline entity, uh, life form, uh, the Cowcat crystals. They are sentient. And not outwardly hostile, though they haven't had good experiences with non other Cowcat, putting it lightly. They are capable of taking on uh, 
characteristics of both uh, dilithium and latinum. Uh, they can be quite volatile if they're exposed to high amounts of energy. Correct. So should we encounter them, try not to fire at them. Yeah. The whole ship will go boom. We learned that the hard way on multiple instances. In addition to what the doctor has informed you, they are also psionic, and those psionic readings manifest themselves as radiation. Not the most expected thing to hear, but... Well, we find new things every day. Indeed. Now, here's where the security portion of this briefing comes in. As you can see, these are sentient beings, and due to the rough start to first contact with these species, the Kauket system has been quarantined, a diplomatic quarantine. Only Federation diplomatic corps is allowed to break it. Now, uh, I that is right. Right, GM? You're right, yep. Yeah, diplomatic corps is allowed in. The diplomatic corps is allowed in, but no one else. Someone's been breaking the quarantine and, for lack of a better word, kidnapping the Calcut Crystals. As the Doctor has informed you, they are quite versatile in their functionality, if you could call it that. This Calcut, I'd honestly call it I wouldn't even call it smuggling, I'd call it trafficking, uh, has made reaching a diplomatic peace with the Calcut far more difficult. Now, the individual who has been implicated the most in this is one that Kismet actually met on our first visit to Calcut at the Federation Science Colony there. And he's going to pull up the file on Irene Adler. We'll uh, take a look at that. He's just been sitting there sort of quietly listening. So, I assume there's a picture of her? Yep. You can give that description to him. Uh, it's a red-haired uh, human I said, woman. I thought you said it was purple. Purple-haired. You're right. Sorry. I got it back. I'm thinking of the wrong character. Uh, purple-haired human uh, in a jumpsuit. Uh, she's classified as a Federation citizen. Um, and according to the file, uh, it seems that Irene Adler is some sort of alias. Uh, her actual identity is uh, unknown at this time. Um, although it's rumored that she's from uh, Mars originally. She's also been spotted at various... Uh, frontier colonies across the Federation as a security consultant. Okay. Yeah. Now, the Kismet over the past few weeks has been monitoring the situation of Kaukit trafficking, and just last week, I assume it was like last week or maybe a little bit longer? Five and a half days or so? Yeah. Uh, about a week ago, the Kismet uh, got our first big break. We found a group of Patsies who were who had the Kaukit crystals passed onto them. Uh, one of them managed to escape our grasp, but the rest were willing to give us plenty of information, namely the person who sold them the crystals in the first place, and I'll give you one guess who. Adler. Indeed. As such, and you know, he slides a pad over to him, we have been given a warrant for Adler's arrest. I'm guessing the problem is finding her. Indeed. And he's going to reach over and he's going to pick up another file. Um. And he's going to pass it over. It's, um, the file, the warrant that you saw was file SSD-A. The next one he gives you is file SSD-B. Uh, these are the last known specifications of the SS Taura. 
the ship that Starfleet is uh, Starfleet intelligence is uh, pinning as the one that Adler is currently using, you can see for yourself the issues that it causes, and I I assume that you have like an actual thing for file SSD B. Uh, in the sheet at the top, you should see SS Tora now. Both I of you. see it. Uh, could you actually hand that to me too? Uh, you should see it as well, Grenon. Uh, top of the sheet. Top of the uh, you know where the characters and everything is the very top. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't see any specs for it or anything. Oh right, I have to give you uh access to edit to see the sheet. It's character sheet. My bad. I always forget that. Yeah. There you go. Now you should be able to pull up its character sheet. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, it is a more or less civilian vessel, but who knows if they've been modifying it in, uh, recently in order to stay under the radar and uh, I am correct in my recollection that they're not supposed to have the cloaking device, right? Yeah, they're to as a civvy vessel, they're not supposed to have a cloaking uh, device. That's for uh, military use only. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll note uh, the picture in it as well. It should have a purple pink job. Uh, I didn't adjust the picture. It it's hull. Uh, instead of having the normal like uh, off green hull color, it actually has like a purple uh, paint job to it. Ooh, neat. Just so it's clearly, <laughs> we're not a rhyme and bird or play, or bird or play, please don't blow us up. <laughs> yep. I mean, that, that's always useful to have. Yeah. Mm. Now, as has been mentioned, we are currently heading into Klingon territory with the blessing of the Empire. Uh, it's actually not that big a deal, though, right? Because, I mean, allies, right? Hmm. You have their permission, so you're okay, but you 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 definitely needed the permission ahead of time, because otherwise the Klingons would have said you're stealing their kill, effectively. But Ah, yes. Um, as has been mentioned, and, you know, he hands, um, uh, he hands another file to you, SSD, uh, or another file over to you, and it says, uh, and it explains that the SS Tora passed a Starfleet outpost, uh, five days ago? Uh, Starfleet um, outpost. yeah, about yeah. five days ago. Yeah, Starfleet outpost MZ5, approximately five days ago, and entered Klingon space with her course charted towards the Bamoth sector. Uh, and he hands you a file that says SSD, uh, dash C. According to the file, uh, it seems that the Torah is going, uh, it, if it go, if it went straight, uh, to simplify, right to left, uh, sorry, yeah, right to left, uh, a straight line, it could theoretically cut through Klingon space from one Federation bit of space all the way over to core Federation worlds. Problem is, if it did that, it would cut straight across Kronos, where the most of the defense, uh, Klingon defense fleet is. So their projected course is that he, uh, this ship is entering Beemoth, and that gives uh, Starfleet security the idea that it, they're probably staying spinward or further away from the Galactic Center. So they're kind of try their attention is probably going to skirt around the edges of Klingon territory. Uh, Beemoth sector. Um, it also mentions that it's a, uh, they're probably going to be slowed down for the next, uh, they'll be stuck in this sector for the next nine days because they have to pass by the patrols that are probably looking for in the BIM up sector. Hmm. But if she gets out of the sector, uh, then it gets hard to find where she's going to go. Uh, but they approx secure Starfleet security approximates from the specs of the ship. Uh, that it would take about 42 days at cruising speed for them to get uh, at warp 8 to get to Federation space. 
And if it has its cloaking device and it gets there fast enough, they might not be able to catch. The, uh, they might it might blow past the outposts. So you can see, we're in an interesting game of cat and mouse here. The Klingon Empire has offered the assistance of uh, some of the Klingon Defense Force, but that's minimal. Still better than one ship looking, so I'll take what we can get. Oh yes, also probably I'd, I'd assume attached to the file of the SS Tora is probably the uh, uh, information on its captain, is Captain Navir? Yes. Uh... A Vulcan? Yes. Now, we also have to be careful. According to all intelligence that Starfleet has been able to gather, Adler is a very well-connected criminal, and she probably has contacts in the Klingon Empire that she might try to use against us. This is sounding more and more exciting every minute. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. This is a very delicate situation, because riding on it isn't just the arrest of, uh, of a wanted fugitive from the Federation, but is also trafficked, crystal, uh, trafficked crystals whose return to their people would be a significant diplomatic... Uh, achievement. Uh, delicate There's... situations in Klingons. Mm. As said, I'm going to be reaching out to the uh, Klingon Defense Force and coordinating things on that front. I want you to... Uh, uh, I will give you information on... Uh, on their projected uh, search patterns, and I would like you to start preparing one of your own. I think I can manage that. Of course, we will have a little bit of time to prepare once we um, once we reach Bamoth itself, but after then, we should get going. Understood, Captain. I think that, uh, I think for now, uh, I've, uh, covered any, everything I want to cover. Do you have any questions for me? Nothing from the top of my head. Commander, and he turns to Dr. Efrix. Yes, sir. No questions. Understood. Dismissed. Sir, stand up, leave. So as the two of you are leaving, the captain actually stops for a moment. He says, "Actually, uh, Chief, would you hold on for just a moment?" Stop by the door. Uh, come back in. Yeah, that was like stopping on the right side of the door, so he's not left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk back Door's over. Gonna probably close behind you. He said, "How are you finding things in Starfleet, Chief?" Bigger ships, more to do. Right, but again, how are you finding Starfleet? Not entirely sure I understand the question. Well, I've been looking over your file. You're in the, I suppose we could call it, first wave? Manner of speaking. You see... And, you know, he sets the file to the side. From what I'm aware, the Bajoran uh, government has just recently entered the Federation. And the Bajoran militia is currently in the process of being folded in to Starfleet. You're in the first wave. Yes, sir. And I'm just curious how you are finding it. This is not much different between how you work and how we work. Your equipment's much better. Got a lot more 
different faces. Understood. But nothing that is difficult to get past. Understood. Well, again, remember, if you need anything at all, we're at your disposal, and I hope you find that you meld with the crew right away. As yes. you were, Chief. Hi, Captain. Leaving. <laughs> yep. Uh, when he's standing there, he's just kind of got his arms behind his back and he doesn't move much at all. Hmm. Well, yeah. Going to do his job. Finger guns. <laughs> Finger faces, I hope. Sounds like we're arriving at in system. As everyone steps out onto the bridge, various people at their posts. Uh, on view screen is the distant planet of Beemoth. Mm -hmm. As it is evident that the ship has come to a stop, it is no longer at warp. Mr. Pend, if you would, uh, bring us into a standard orbit? Yes, Captain. And I assume that's a Klingon vessel there? Uh, that is the Beemoth, uh, Starport. Oh, that's the Starport. Alrighty. Uh, let me check this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just quickly skim in this again. Oh, but there aren't... Uh, are we detecting any ships on sensors? Um, nothing. Uh, that it will require a sensor sweep. Check. Hmm. That's odd. Chief, uh, we should... You know, he looks at, looks at a pad that's in his hand. Uh, there should be two Klingon vessels in the area, the IKS Ocha and the IKS Hindliv. Uh, see if you can raise the starport. Aye. Uh, that was too farther? Yeah, uh, that's presum uh, well, presumably... Well, presumably, yeah, Varder, because that the security officer is the one who handles hails, right? Ops security. You know, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, USS Kismet to Klingon Station. Uh, give me a control engineering test, uh, assisted by ship's communications engineering. Difficulty zero. Ah, okay. Momentum. Difficulty is oh. as having never rolled before. I figured out I need to click on things, so I don't see how to do difficulty yet. Uh, difficulty is how many? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, I think I did that right. Yep, that's two, and someone gonna roll the ship. Uh, that's the other side. Well, doesn't someone uh, need to roll our I ship? I got the ship. There it is. I always forget. And and sorry, what was the other? What was the department? Communications engineering, I think. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Three momentum or two? Difficulty zero task. Well, yeah. no, I, I don't know if this was opposed or not. It's not opposed. They, they're rolling to make sure they even hear. Oh, okay. I, well, it's difficulty zero, so yeah, we get three. Yay! Right. Uh, as you hail the base, uh, two Klingon birds of prey uh, decloak right in front of you. All right. 
Uh, full stop, Mr. Penn? Yes, Captain. Uh, okay. They are receiving and are willing to do visual. Alrighty. On screen. Doing that. On the screen is a uh, older Klingon. Um, has a, on his sash across his armor. You can see his family house uh, emblem on there. Some various decorations. Kind of a uh, stocky sort, big thick beard, what, uh, gray in his hair. Sounds about right. This is the Beemoth Defense Station. What is your intention, Federation vessel? Uh, this is Captain Harmon Grennan of the USS Kismet. Uh, we're here on official Starfleet business. We have an arrest warrant for uh, a fugitive who we believe to be passing through this sector. Send me your warrant. Right. Gonna send over said file, which is SSD slash A. He waves at somebody off screen and is handed a pad that he kind of pokes at and prods at more like. And more specifically the fact that there is a Klingon extradition agreement, so... We are aware of this Adler. We are looking into the matter. But the Emperor has seen fit to allow you to assist us. So try not to get in the way. We would be happy to assist in any way possible. As long as she receives justice in both of our courts, I see no reason why we can't cooperate. Hmm. See that you do. Right. Uh, would you happen to have any intelligence that might be able to help us in our search? After all, two heads are better than one. As uh, give long me, as we all have the same knowledge. Give me presence command difficulty two. Nice. Uh, let me see. Um, just seeing if I've got a thing that might help. Uh, diplomacy. Yeah, I'd give it to you. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna spend a momentum. Gonna re-roll that. Uh, critical failure. Oh, wait. I, I used the wrong stats. <laughs> uh, that, that one I re-rolled should have also been a success. Okay. Because I have 17 presence command. Ooh, close. So that gets you uh, two momentum. Yes, so we're up to four, actually. There is a nearby debris field from various battles over the years. It's very possible that she may be hiding in there. We are currently investigating the planet to see if it is hidden anywhere as well. You are free to try your best in either regard. Understood. Be warned, though, if this Adler opens fire at any Klingon-owned thing or asset, it will be destroyed on sight. Understood. This is your problem, Federation. I hope you solve it soon. Bimoth Station out. And the captain grits his teeth and sits in the chair. It's got a lot more complicated. And the, I assume the ship's cloaked? Yep. A lot more complicated. Hmm. Uh, actually...
actually, I have a question uh, about the specs of a Romulan warbird. Are they capable of making planet fall? Uh, that uh, the twenty third cent uh, the twenty second century uh, type uh, is uh, possibly capable of it, but it would require a. Actually, no, you don't need to do the role because they gave you the specs. Uh, yeah, it it can make it can make planet fall. It's designed for scout missions like that. Hmm. Especially since it's scale three, it's only just bigger, just a tiny bit bigger than a than yeah. a runabout. Like, yeah. it's scale three, only just. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the Hadfield can make planet fall. Yeah. So, all right. I want you to keep that in, uh, want to keep that in mind. It is entirely possible that they could simply be on the planet's surface. Hmm. Sounds like they could be in the debris field as well. Larger chunks of debris might be small enough to land on those as well. Yeah. Right. But if they're on the planet's surface, that means that more or less they can't move around. Now, on top of that, what do we think? Would having to go through planetary atmosphere make it so that um, uh, they'd have to disengage the cloak? Well, they would have to disengage their cloak to bring up their shields, Captain, and making planet fall without shielding would be very difficult. As we're just hiding in a field, maybe against something large enough, you don't need to have your shields on. Although, depending on, upon their, depending upon the agitation of the field, they may take some micrometeor hits to their hull. Hmm. Understood. Uh, Chief, I'd like you to send a request to the Klingon, uh, uh, to the Klingon station. I'd like you to request, um... Uh, the search patterns for the two Klingon warbirds so that we might maximize our searching area. Transmitting request now. Uh, give me presence plus security, difficulty three. Is that going to be the security officer doing that? Yes, it is. Uh, feel free to take a momentum. So you'll be rolling a third die. And that's just up the task roll by one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep, up the task roll by one. Let me... Sure. Let's do that. I don't have a bad presence in security, though, so... There we go. Oh, slick. Uh, was the ship assisting with that in any way, or no? Uh, it'd be communications engineering. Engineering, god. I... Security plus communications, there we go. that Is anyone rolling here? Yeah, one, one, that? one second so it's communications and security. I've uh, just put the complication range back down to one. There's a ship. You are informed that there's a ship uh, in escort pattern with you, and one ship is currently is currently uh, doing scans from this position. What position? Uh, there are smaller uh, vessels coming see. to and from the base. I didn't see the position. Did you ping it? Yeah. I I didn't see it. Nor do I. Oh, <laughs> helps if I'm on a layer that you can see. <laughs> Indeed. There we go. I was gonna say. So there. Eh? And okay. there's also uh, scale 2, scale 1 vessels that are coming, in, uh, that are searching the planet as well. Hmm. That are searching the planet? Yeah. 
okay. So yeah, there's an escort vessel there, and there's one ship that's scanning the field from that position. And more or less, there's ships there, because they're, co they're constantly doing a quick buzz uh, across the planet, and then coming back up to the sta uh, station. Okay. Well, in that case, Chief, uh, I want your suggestions. We could either turn our attention towards the planet, the station, or the debris field. What do you suggest? Hiding on the station would be quite a trick to pull off. And the planet would be a poor option for any type of escape. I'd call the debris field. Right. In that case, Mr. Pend, bring us in. Carefully. Yes, Captain. Shields, Captain. Of course. Bring up deflector shields. Uh, are you calling a yellow alert, or are you just bringing up shields? Uh, actually, technically, you could call blue alert for hazard, but yellow alert is something you call if you think you might be shot at sometime soon. Uh, yes, I'd, I'd suggest bringing us to yellow alert. We do have intel suggesting that the, uh, uh, what's it called, the Torah? The Torah, yep. Yep that the Torah is, uh, would, will likely fire upon us if, uh, will likely fire upon us if we find them, so we need to be ready. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, scene change as you approach the field. We lose any momentum. As you approach the field, um, Pend, uh, your navigation uh, panel uh, starts blinking a warning at you. Any particular warning? Uh, firing it at you now. If I could type your name, that'd be awesome. There we go. That's not really a, a hazard, but okay. <laughs> what we love about you. Uh, uh, so do you stop short of the field, or do you try to enter? Uh, Captain, I've got the console telling me there is debris in front of me. Permission to continue into the debris? Permission granted. Lieutenant Myth, keep our eyes wide open. I would like to enter the, debr the debris. Uh, give me a check that involves dice. For the <laughs> love of goodness. Control plus uh, con, uh, difficulty two, uh, assisted by ship's engines con. And actually, I'm going to be nice today and give you an increased complication of one. So just a comp two. Yes. Oh. Could I make either the difficulty or the complication range higher by, I wouldn't say getting closer to possible landing points in the debris field, but pl more likely places someone would hide someone who would like where a pilot would hide the ship i would increase the difficulty by one so if that's your intention yeah so what difficulty three three yeah yeah although pen don't you have a thing i do uh, when the difficulty is increased due to environmental conditions i reduce it by difficulty of one So okay, instead of three, it's back down to two again. Uh huh. Get you. It's as if I'm designed to fly ships. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The 
the Hadfield's variation of that is the improved reaction control systems, which is on their ship. So I'm going to give you a threat. Very good. Uh, at some point, I I'm going right, to re-roll that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I passed. Re-roll. Cool. And you get the ship's assist. Oh yeah, that's right. And what's that? Sorry. Uh, I'll uh, roll it. Yeah. Engines gone. I was gonna say, it sounds like engines con. Cause that sounds like a, a very. That's like ninety percent of what a pilot does is engines con. Yeah. Uh -huh. There are some. T oh, hey, there you go. Nice. Yeah, I used engine science on on a Saturday because they were using the Bassard collectors to um to crop dust a planet. Hmm. Look at them rocks. We're looking at rocks. These rocks. Probably these... scan these rocks. They rock. <laughs> if you're gonna give me a scan, it's reason science difficulty of two. Assisted by ship's um, sensor science. Difficulty of one. Difficulty one. Let's generate us some momentum, baby. Um. Also, due to me trying to give us. I wouldn't say an advantage, but better locations in the field. Would that make the role more favorable? It effectively made, if anyone's hiding in there, it's at least their difficulty because you're you're coming real close. If they're if they're trying to physically hide somewhere, you're alarmingly close now, and a, a pilot might spook if you're that close. All right, um, I want to swing a possibly subspace theory for scanning for. The disturbances that a cloaked ship would make in subspace. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And I'll roll There's that. You, uh, you also get one because get... you yeah, are. Yeah, so that's that's two successes plus ship. Full of sensor science. Oh, you already got it. Never mind. Good thing I got Good it. Good thing you got it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's two momentum. Hend, you get an you get a hazard as some it looks like a uh, asteroid next to you is uh, suddenly has accelerated and is about to collide with the ship. Lock the tractor beam on it, Chief. Okay, and I'll do that. Oh, we're also at full momentum. What do I need to roll to do that? It'll be control security. Uh, double checking. Oh, by the way, uh, Pen, you can assist because you can kind of buy the ship time by moving away. Uh, yeah, I'll assist then. Tractor beam, where is it? There it is. It's control, secu control security, difficulty of two. Assisted by structure security. Structure security, I got it. Nada. <laughs> but we still got a momentum, anyways. We are full. Cool. All right. Full up. The Kismet basically, uh, Three-dimensional space kind of ducks down away from the crash path, and the tractor beam er, grabs it before it collides with the ship. Triangulating source of asteroid. Uh, I believe you made your reason science roll throwing a rock at you. Uh, you did, yep. Um... Uh, computer is processing. Stand by. <laughs> well, that didn't seem like a natural piece of debris. No, it didn't. <laughs> hmm.
Here it is. <laughs> uh, if you want to know the source of where that rock came from, either uh, any of your uh, one of your freebie questions to answer that. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, because how much momentum? <laughs> yeah, processing. much momentum. Mm -hmm. Ludicrous how much momentum we have. I mean, I'm sure we can change that. I was gonna say, just, just let efforts do some rolling. She'll use all of it. <laughs> well, oh. We crash oh. into something she'll have to, so. No, 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 you have no idea. I mean, I mean I, he kind of does. I feel he was offended. Here last week when I rolled eight. Captain, picking up a small scale ion engine on the asteroid, it was attempting to ram us. Hmm. Let's see. Interesting. Can we get a uh, can we get a make on that ion engine? Uh, working on it now, Captain. Uh, that will be a reason plus con uh, difficulty two. Oh, yeah. Reason. Could I assist? You, mean it upon now? you totally can. <clears throat> and I have small craft. That, uh, that applies. Cool. Can I use my focus of astro navigation? Yes. Uh, comp one, astro two, focus. Yes. Perfect. Cool. I mean, cheeky oh, engineer, right if you crash. Be right back. Mm-hmm. The what now? You say, you know, the doctor will have work to do if we crash. I don't crash. Oh, um... Ram, sorry. As a, uh... The ship would have helped as well with computers con. Right. Computers con, got it. What I miss? Nice. Uh, computer helped. Oh yeah, computer. <laughs> computer helped. Uh, not like we needed any more momentum. No. But... Cool. Uh, could we spend that two extra momentum to create an advantage, <laughs> such as we can? Uh, well, we might want to ask more questions. So. Hmm. Let's let's hold off for the moment. Basic data, or then yeah, we can determine if we want to do with that. Over. Yeah. Uh, the one bit of help you get, pen, uh, that you that you like, you're not getting the, but you as assist, um, you recognize that ion engines as a pilot are old technology, like a, a pre warp, uh, not pre warp, well, pre warp. It's pre warp tech. Um, it is the slowest way you can move in space. Uh, like maneuvering thrusters on a on a Galileo are better than an ion engine. So if someone has just launched a piece of debris at us with an ion engine, someone's actually had to have placed it there. Okay, I actually do have two questions. All right, I do, I do have two questions that I think are quite pertinent. First off, um, is it likely that they used ion engines because they'd be harder to detect? I, uh, do you guys have high resolution, or do you need to spend momentum for that? We have to spend momentum, but we have two floating that okay. we gotta spend now, or else we lose it. Uh, I can tell you to answer that for you that momentum. It would that's that would be the best reason to use an ion engine. Uh, ship sensors don't bother looking for ion engines anymore. Um, it's it's so slow. Most now it's something you never have to worry about. Hmm. And second question that I want to spend with the other bit of our floating momentum. Was it installed recently? Hmm. Yes. Okay. 
And Iran just got a uh, file dump in roll 20. Okay, I, that, that, well, that means that they likely passed through this area. Whether or not they're still here is another matter altogether. I do have some way to turn it on. Hmm. And hopefully now that we know their game... Uh, with these ion engines will be better prepared to deal with them. Uh, so, GM, would I be correct in assuming that if we have to deal with any of these things again in the near future, we'll be better prepped to dodge it? If you uh, give me two momentum, yeah. Uh, question, GM. Yeah. With my knowledge of engines, would I know that an ion engine would have to be activated or would it be able to be able to like just um, like be able to via sensors come towards us, or would someone have to like flip the switch to send it at us? Uh, ion engines were used in uh, the twenty first century for satellites and stuff, so it could be proximity based or can be remote control based. Yeah, so the words were not coming to me then. Right. I'd, say, I'd say it's likely that it's proximity based in this instance. Yeah. Uh, where did you send the the file dump? Uh, I whispered it to you in roll twenty. All right. Oh yeah. Captain, recommend we beam aboard the assembly of the ion engine to determine the source and make. I mean, they're not that big, right? Uh, these things are about scale. Each of these asteroids are about scale two. Right, but I'm saying the. I assume. Or bigger. I assume, <clears throat> I, I assume you were saying beam aboard the engine. Right. The that thruster would... assembly. Oh, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be that big. It, I mean, it's bigger than a person, but yeah, you could fit it in a cargo bay or something. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. It's not that big. Retrofit it into a. Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, well, from well, what I, I can make out of this scan is that it's a uh, 22nd century Heron uh, ion engine uh, it was probably made on Earth uh, it was used for satellites uh, before the Federation was a thing it has been refit to be remote controlled and attached to the asteroid right ah, remote control. getting it into a cargo bay wouldn't be that much of a problem. I could probably do it from here if I really wanted to. Well, if the lieutenant has already determined the source, I don't see any reason to encumber our cargo bays. Uh. Agreed. As things stand, these engines answer one question for us, and that's all they need to do. And that question is, does someone want to keep us out of this asteroid field? And I think the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Roaring of an engine. They must be able to see us if they're able to accurately send an asteroid at us. Well, as you said, it's entirely possible that it's proximity based. This, uh, Iran said it was remote control. Activated remotely. Yeah. Oh, it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we track the signal? Yeah, we could. I'd like it. to go over our sensor logs and see if we can register any sort of signal. Uh, that be outside of normal EM bands. Uh, that would be insight security or insight science, um, assisted by ships' uh, security sensors. Uh, difficulty of four. If, if you want a five in security, I can spend a momentum and give you that. <laughs> I've got a five in science. All right. But you can assist with your security. I'm gonna leave you to do it. Unless your insight is higher than a 10? Uh, nope. Alright, then you should assist. Right, I can do that. <laughs> well. <sighs> and to assist, I would select. Insight and security. Alright. It's only one. You only roll one die. You only roll one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, spend, you may want to spend two momentum to kill the uh, complication. Yep, yeah. gonna do that. <laughs> the ship helps, theoretically, yeah. but I don't oh, think yeah. you can make. I don't, actually, you can't make it. Uh, worst case scenario, you'll get a complication. That's the only reason you're rolling it. Should I help as well? Uh, oh. what's the ship rolling? Uh, sensor rolling. security. Oh, so that brings down the difficulty. That brings down difficulty to three. We could technically make it if the ship mm -hmm. crits. And who is the other person suggesting uh, helping out? Oh um, my Aaron. fuck. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there goes two more momentum. Well, Ron, if you want to join in with this uh, conga line, you are free to. <laughs> okay. Don't. Let's Unless you have a focus you can use. I have. Oh, what, what are we doing now? We're um, reading Backtracking sensors. communication. Oh, well, I have Sensor reverse logs. engineering. Um, it's our own system, so. It's our own system. I would actually give you reverse engineering and increased complication. <laughs> Do it! It's, it's very complicated already. <laughs> but, uh, well, if we're going to be dead in space, why not in a debris field? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you for making my job more difficult. Well, you, want to be included, right? you want to be included? Uh, but sure, I, I'll I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, which means that I'm still uh, rolling complication range two, task roll of one focus right. used. Cool. Right. Ah. Nope. Not enough. Ah. Worth a shot. Yeah. Oh, there's no. a, there, what? Uh, the one thing you do know, the remote signal did not come from within the field because you would have detected it by now. So it's yeah. probably it's somewhere outside of the field, and the sensors just aren't. There's just so much interference here that it's hard to sense things longer than close range. Hmm. Right. Oh, what if they are right next to the station? I'm thinking that, is... that they might have made planet fall. Mm. Uh, Captain, I've got a suggestion if you're willing to go with something stupid. Pen, you coming up with a stupid idea. Could... That is a you you'll you'll you can agree stupid after you've heard the idea <laughs> but could we in theory reprogram the ion engine attached to the debris to return to sender the theoretically yeah that could yeah rather good idea pen. Uh, it, it would require us to match its um, velocity while we modify it, then follow it through a debris field to its location. Well, we could take a shuttle, uh, and then just the the Kismet could come around and uh, meet us there. In that case. It would be far easier simply to see if there's a computer system on board the thruster assembly and extract the path, the flight path from it rather than reprogramming the entire assembly, I believe. See, that's not even a difficult role. <laughs> what I'm thinking is, uh, <laughs> they could beam over in EV suits and affect the, uh, affect the hack on their side. Yeah. So is this something we want to go ahead with? I mean, I was, I was, I was thinking a similar sort of thing penned. Um, however, uh, I think it might be a better idea instead of sending, uh, in, in case the asteroid uh, goes towards a populated area. Uh, if the ship is indeed on the, huh? Above is do it remotely to be fair okay um i think it would be better to send an engineering team to the asteroid surface and see if they can uh jury rig a uh uh a signal trace from there i mean that's fair but if we're worried about collateral damage if we can activate it remotely to send it 
we also have the option to remotely stop it or change its course away. Right. The amount of the amount of time it would take for the ion engine to reverse the thrust of this asteroid would be significant. We have a tractor beam. We have a lot of inertia. We do have the Kismet and it, all its weapon system. Worst comes to worst, but I prefer to not take the risk if possible. Anyhow, uh, Mr. Pend, I'd suggest that you and uh, you, Lieutenant Iran, and uh, Lieutenant Myth take a shuttle to the asteroid. Um, I'll, I'm just gonna point out that Aran is visibly bouncing up and down in his chair at the mention of taking a shuttle. Well, you're not gonna be flying it! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I do recommend that we attempt to simply access the computer core for the information required before any rerouting is attempted. Uh, yeah, I assume, GM, that that's, that's that task that you put. Uh, if you're just plumbing the, um, the computer core, it's a different role. That role is if you're trying to tell the thing, hey, buddy, go back to where your signal came, your oh, okay. signal came from. Oh, so it might just be easier to hack it from here. Uh, that would It'll be... be even easier to hack it from there, potentially. I think we should yeah. still go over. Yeah. yeah, the question is, do we want to try hacking it from here, or do we want to ha try hacking it from there? If we do it in person, there's less chance of whoever we're tracking picking up on the signal hmm. Agreed. while we do it remotely. And the less they know, the better. Absolutely. Question, can I fly an asteroid? <sighs> as long as you have control of its uh, flight, uh, its flight systems, you can fly anything that has an engine. Um, yes. Um, can you fly it well? That's a different problem. Um... <laughs> So what's the difficulties that we'd be dealing with in both situations? Uh, so the other idea is just pulling stuff from the computer core? Mm -hmm. Yes, we basically, uh, the question is, hack it from here, or go over there and physically muck about? Oh, if you're trying to do the reprogram thing uh, from the asteroid, it turns into a control... Um, Engineering. Yeah, Control. I presume engineering. Engineering or science, actually. I can see either. Yeah. yeah right. If we're just trying to hack into it when we're over there. Yeah, and it's control because now you actually are. You can actually go slow and careful with it. Whereas from here, you're kind of having to very quickly hack it before it clues in that it's being hacked. Hmm. Right. Yeah. I think it'd be safer to go over there. Yeah. That's if good. we t if we tip our hand, then we've tipped our hand. And we probably won't get another chance like this. Be Great. cautious for booby traps or something like that. Will do. All right. In that case, uh, Lieutenant Arand, Lieutenant Penn, Lieutenant Myth, suit up. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. So Myth, uh, Penn. This is just so I don't lose track of who's where. Who's the third? Uh, Aran. The shuttle? Aran. Mm -hmm. And, you know, NPCs will take up their positions on the bridge. Oh, I don't have a picture for you. And, uh, Wait, I don't? Sorry, I did. I and, don't. Uh, oh, well. Chief Verdon, uh, or, or Verder, uh, Varder. Chief Varder, uh, keep an eye on the sensors. Yes, Captain. Uh, what shuttle are you going to take out? I've yeah. been looking over them, and I think... Uh... Well, you have different shuttles aboard, don't you? You do! I haven't used mm -hmm. the shuttles in a while! I mean, the shuttles um, represented on the sheet uh, does not represent the shuttles in, uh, in the, uh, under the Kismet shuttles uh, in uh, Angle 20. Uh, probably the, the, the red would probably be your best pick. Yeah... It's a... Oh shoot, we do. We still have the Hemingway. Yeah. Do we? The Hemingway? We, on, on the Kismet sheet, we do. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot uh, where we lost the Hemingway. It crashed, I think. Uh... Pen. You mean Pen crashed it? Yeah. Pen didn't crash <laughs> shit. The GM crashed it with Pen on board. 
know. while while I like the the friend, I think Naruda is better in case we run into something. Great. Uh, since Naruda has uh, has a weapon system, and the friend does not. I think Hend would like to take the Byron probably, but Byron, yeah. I mean, we can do that. Yes, in case you haven't noticed, uh, our shuttles have a very specific naming scheme. Uh, so, uh, what shuttle are you guys taking? Don't care. <laughs> yep. Well, like ten. Naruda. 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 Uh, is there anything else the away team's taking with them? An EV suit. Yeah, EV suit. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> Everyone has to share. Actually, Wait, rock, paper, I don't need Actually, to be fair, uh, because to get on the asteroid, it's a requirement. It will not cost you any opportunity for the EV suit because it's a it's a mandatory item to even do the mission at all. I guess um, I'll wear one then. Can I? <laughs> well, 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 the first question is, does Myth need to wear an EV suit? And second of all, does uh, wearing an EV suit increase any difficulties? It doesn't increase any uh, difficulties. Usually that's represented by burning through momentum uh, for opportunity. Uh -huh. um, the only risk, Myth doesn't have to bring a wear one, uh, but the problem is that if Myth is flung from the rock, there's no he doesn't come equipped with, or she rather, doesn't come equipped with uh, little retro rockets to correct it. She'll just kind of tumble forever until yeah. she hits. I want to say, not yet. Not yet. Uh, I don't have retro <laughs> rockets yet. <laughs> <laughs> Question: Can I take a like a ship's steering wheel and some wiring so I can attach it to the asteroid? Uh, if you spend one momentum, you can bring along a emergency helm assembly. I mean, that's not the worst idea I've ever heard. You know what? I'll I'll spend that momentum to do it. Yeah. Brick it. Can't believe I'm getting away with that. It's the sort of thing you'd bring if a shuttle or any other flight device, its panel was blown up and you had to go over there and rescue it. And it's designed for you to have the jury rig it into something. And yeah. this would still count. It's It fits the same idea. How am I getting away with this? I don't know. At the cost of momentum. That's how. And if you had zero momentum, you'd have a problem. You've got a threat. Well, you could have. We got threat. <laughs> well, if you had taken the Tepren, you could have made the roll. Yeah. Yeah, but too late now. Too bad. What are we doing now? Um, we are on the Naruto. Yep. Um, any other equipment you're bringing with you aside from your standard equipment? <clears throat> I think a. Um... I'm not well, sure. The thing is, we don't really have any momentum to spend, so. No, I know. I I'd probably just do it. Yeah, I mean. Tech is tech, and with a uh, hard enough wrench, you can use it as a hammer as well. So, um, actually, um, one thing for you, uh, oh, Aran, uh, one of your now. one of your standard gear as chief engineer uh, is. Um, I'll note this in your uh, sheet. I didn't do this already. Yeah, uh, you would have um, an engineering kit for free. That's required for your job. Cool. Right. I'm so trying to remember if there's a science equivalent. Uh, yeah, there's a medical one. Yeah, your your tricorder is a science, so it's it, your it's tricorder, a science tricorder. Got it. And that okay. so and that's represented by your character getting the freebie question whenever you're using a tricorder, mm -hmm. because it's assumed that either your pro you either brought along your specialized tricorder or you reprogrammed oh, in shoot, someone we forgot, else's. We forgot to leverage that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We've been forgetting to leverage the fact that you get a freebie question as science officer. Yeah, a little bit. Um, well, we, we've used it when I've made the role. Mostly. And to fill you in, Aran, uh, a engineering kit does come with a variety of things that are in the book. Don't worry about most of it, but yeah. it has a lot of anything you've seen in the show, like uh, regular stuff, like a spanner, uh, a small plasma torch, like hand tools. Those are all in there. If you need something more complicated that needs like two hands, like say, uh, uh, I can't think of the words, um, but there's other devices that require you like, know, a like one of the big hefty laser cutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's like a multi-tool in there. Like it comes with a lot. It's sort of like how it's sort of it's the medical people get a similar thing where it gets a bunch of goodies in the kit to begin with. Yeah. Whereas everyone else would have to pay extra for each individual thing. Uh 
It's like just buy, just get the kit. It's not even worth doing it, uh, uh, a la carte. Yeah. Okay. So I assume y'all are gonna head on over. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Ooh, and my so... roll twenty just shat the bed. Hmm. Mm. Uh, scene change. Whoa. Oh. So we are down to zero momentum, guys. <gasps> Shit, son. Don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so actually, here's a question. When they're doing the roll and everything, um, uh, will, hang on, will Pend be able to use his flight controller special ability? Hmm. Uh, yeah, because it's still, it's something that involves flight. Wait, yeah, that it's... thing I've been asking for a year to use, and every time I get told no. <laughs> Yeah, you get to use that now. Well, let me double check. I'm going to make sure I'm not full of crap, but I'm pretty did, sure. Did, did, well, I'll double check because I'm going to... As long as you're working on a propulsion system of some kind, you can swap your con for your engineering. Flight controller. Do you have a page number on that? Nope. I've got it on the notes on the back of my sheet. You can use con instead of engineering for fixing warp cores or anything like flying. Oh yeah, 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 I know. Okay, I remember now. Um, yeah, I mean that's that. It applies for stuff that as long as it's engines, starship engines based right, or yeah. flight based, then yeah. It's literally an ion engine. Staple that's why I've even to a staple to an asteroid. That's why some of the stuff I've told uh, told uh, I've prompted for Penn's character assisting. It's like, well, that's stuff a pilot would know. It's like you would that would be like first year academy stuff of, and here's an ion engine back in the twenty second century. It's like, oh my god, we're never going to use one of these. Why are we learning about this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this algebra. Is, this right. assumes that Penn paid attention in any of his classes. <laughs> he had to. He had to get a passing grade. <laughs> that, that, that's assuming Penn went to class. You, you, you don't you even. <laughs> Pen just really turned up. Pen just turned up for the exam. <laughs> Look, it's pass fail exam. Just you know, don't fail. I love Pen and I hate him so much at the same time. What? Because it's realistic. <laughs> Worst. I mean, to be fair, uh, Aaron has con three, and he has had that since he was ten. So, um, he hasn't done any formal. Shuttlecraft Naruta is ready for launch. Cool. Let's go. Hella. So, am I actually going to get to fly this? Or are you just going to go GM plot crash me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a chance to, to give me some complication. Uh, it's going to be a uh, a roll that involves dice. Why does that keep happening? All right, uh, control con, uh, difficulty two, uh, assisted by your shuttle's uh, engines con. All right, I'm handling that. Engines. Yeah. I can't roll anything right now because my character, con. my I would deciding to just shit the bed. like to give you one threat. I mean, I'll take it, but for what reason? To yeah. generate momentum. Oh, you're getting another die. Okay. Yeah, because th that's Penn's build. Yeah. <laughs> Five successes. That sounds like Penn. Who's uh, on the sensors on the Kismet? Um, Hi. Uh, we're done. You have a recent science roll coming your way, and it, it is opposed. Unless you wanted me to take over the I'm science just... station now. Uh, you can assist. Assisting well, with the Naruda now? Uh, well, since I was asking him to do it oh. in a tactical way, could he use security? Uh, it's it's interpreting the data scientifically as to what it is you're looking at. Is okay. that a starship hull or is that a rock? And that requires a knowledge of science. Okay, in that case, uh, F uh, uh what's your science, Aron? My, my science? I'm on the nope. show. Oh, sorry, not Aron. Uh, <laughs> uh, Carter. Efforts. Carter. What's your sign? I've got a one to science for tender uh -huh. reason. Everett, making that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a scientific minded person. <laughs> yeah, so we now have full momentum. 
good. Oh. Alright, so me? Uh, yeah, feel free to take a momentum. Got it. Or more if you want. <laughs> What's oh it's opposed. Uh it's fine. That'll be fine. We're at fifteen. Uh and the kids in the yeah. use sensor science, I assume? You're correct, yeah. Nice. Drop stiff. Drop difficulty. Noted. Ephrix. Yep. Ephrix. You bought a die? I'll buy a die. <laughs> what is that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a natural 20, sir. <laughs> okay, well... Hey! We probably, yeah, could yeah. we say that those two cancel each other out? Ooh, is that the same? Hold on, I might have screwed up. That might, what'd you roll? You rolled a... No, that made it no matter what I rolled. Um... Um... I mean, we, we basically got the exact same roll. Well, we have you know what? I'm gonna than... spend. I'll spend oh, no, two to force. Uh, so my complication goes away. Are you gonna spend two to get rid of yours? Uh, sure. Who, buddy? Efrix. <laughs> Wait, the the contest that Ben made was difficulty three. I think. Was it? Mm -hmm. Never mind. The contest. What was the contest that Penned made? Uh, two. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that, that works out. Okay. You got two, and Efric spent one and got a nat 20. Cool, that was close. Got it. <laughs> that, was, ooh, that was close. I almost had uh, to give you the bad guy. Sending you a message there, uh, Efric. Processing. Uh, one thing you know uh, for certain is you do have sensor contact with Duddle. So, but you're in close range, so that wasn't that wasn't something you were particularly worried about losing them. But hey, you know for sure they're not gonna they're, they're not gonna just banish. Well, unless the GM wants us to just vanish. I, say, uh, I don't like the sound of that. I mean, I know for a fact that there are no cloaking devices on this shuttle. I'm saying there's always interdimensional fissures. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, there might have been things Penn's been doing to these shuttles that I've not noted down, so you never know. Wow. That I feel like engineering wrong. would have a tick issue with that. I mean, especially the shuttles. I mean, let's be honest, we haven't had a, a steady engineer in the longest time, so they wouldn't know shit. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, and I finally put in new images for the uh, shuttles. Cool. For the uh, Angelou and Neruda. Uh, shooting to you at Discord, there, uh, okay. Doctor. Yeah, I see it. Captain. There seems to be disruptor fire outside of the field. It's not directed at us. Hmm. We can't leave the. Uh, we can't leave the away team out there. Agreed. Us. Spending a threat for something. <laughs> <laughs> what a way team. Yep. Nervous laughter. What a way team. <laughs> Nervous sweats. Temporal hey. is everywhere. Um, Everything's fine. Nothing bad happened. Nothing bad. Um, We're all fine here now. How are you? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Varder, can you get any communications out of uh, can you receive any communications out of the field I shall try uh, the field doesn't seem to be interfering with subspace uh, signals so communication shouldn't be an issue yeah or try to get a communication out receive a communication back to where yes to where uh, to the location of that fire that weapons fire. Hmm. Request to know if any Klingons or forces are under fire. Does that make uh basically yeah. yep. all right. And from who? Uh, so from yeah. Whom, actually. 
USS Kismet to KDF and asking if they are under fire. And are you Toronto... hailing the base, or are you trying to hail one of the ships? One of the ships. I'm assuming it would be the... My guess is it's the bird of prey that's out there, but we don't know its name. One of the two. Uh, give me control engineering uh, difficulty one, assisted by ship's communications engineering. Okay. Don't need to take any mom engine for that. As an update, the shuttle is able to uh, land safely, or at least park safely next to the uh, asteroid. Because the asteroid's basically only just slightly bigger than you are, so you don't really want to land on it. Okay, we get a momentum. And, and did you just... put the parking brake on? <laughs> leave the parking brake on. Why, why would you put a parking brake on? The owner of the red to... sedan, you left your lights on. <laughs> Could the owner of the lime green Honda please come to the reception, please? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. With the, uh... <laughs> with the owner of the light purple Romulan bird of prey, please come to the reception desk. You're under arrest. You are under arrest. Uh. <laughs> hey, Captain, they've received, but they're not responding. That's not good. Meanwhile, on the asteroid. Was to yeah. say, meanwhile. Uh, scene change as the shuttle comes alongside the uh, asteroid and just kind of little retro rockets and maneuver thrusters, kinda, well not rockets, maneuvering thrusters very carefully stabilize alongside and then you're kind of parked so that way you can step off the shuttle and onto the asteroid and very easily walk back and forth. And if it's an asteroid that's made out of a ferrous metal, then you can magna boots to it. Yep. Hell yeah. Cool. Well, you two nerds have fun trying to figure out the system. Well, yeah. broke up. Uh, um, oh man. Hello. Yeah, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Discord just decided to, uh... There you go. Well, commit I ritual yeah. Sudoku. Well, well, I, uh, well that w I, I just reset the server, so... Yeah, because my stream... The stream's fine, it's just Discord crapped its pants. Yeah. yeah. So I, I committed just, ritual Sudoku. Yes. Yep, okay. I just had to so change... We might the, uh, just had to change the server to Central instead of Eastern. So, uh... Oh, uh, wait. Go ahead. You two nerds, go have fun with this system. I mean, there's a scientist and an engineer. I'm basically there to fly it or install a, a steering wheel and fly it. Well, but you can, the thing is, you can help and you can use your con instead. Yes. Because you've been complaining about not being able to use that talent, <laughs> that special ability you have. This is the opportunity you get to use it. I mean, yeah, but it's also... It, it's good if I'm by myself, but there's literally two people there designed to figure shit out. Pens. I mean, do you? I mean, I could fly the thing also if you don't want to be here. That's Pen's the only person who flies. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, so I mean, what's the role that that to, to hack into this thing? Yeah. Uh, so who's boarding the asteroid? Uh, all of us, then? I believe all of us, yes. Yeah, since we don't want to use... Uh, Use uh, sensors to uh, establish links and everything. Uh, I'm going to require well. you three of the away team a fitness con roll. Difficulty of two. Oh, okay. That's going to be fun. Can yeah, I give you a threat and use my survival focus? Heck, I give it to you without the threat. No, I mean the threat, threat for the extra dice, but can I use my survival oh. focus? I was like, it's like you don't have to spend for to get your focus. But yeah, you can get extra die out of it. Yeah, have Pen roll first, because he can generate the momentum that the rest of y'all are going to need. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> I've got an 11. And I'm going to re-roll one of those zeros. 
Never mind. Never mind. Neither yeah. of you have any momentum. Or neither of you guys have extra momentum. I mean, who, who's going to be the worst at this? I am. I've got an 11. What have you I've got? I've got an 8 at this. Well, and eight, what's, what's your call? I have a total of 11. Oh. Okay, so, it's the same. So we each take one. Yeah. Yep. We now have no momentum. Yeah. Boy, I regret saying how great it was to be full on momentum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't have any focuses. That's so cool. all of you roll... All your fault, Captain. Could I, could I make a suggestion for Aran? He could use the focus of a small craft because he's jumping yeah, from a nice. small craft. I would increase complication by one. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Uh... <laughs> you? It was worth it. Yeah, worth yeah, a go. Yeah, yeah. Task goal two. Uh, is con you? fitness rolling. Uh, task goal three. Uh, yeah. Task roll. Gonna roll one more. Task roll three. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, you did it. And then I'm rolling. That was close. Ooh. Fuck. Aran, get back in the shuttle and pick up the, the scientist. Well if, well, if anyone's going to take a little bit of damage out of this, at least it's Myth, the one who actually has resistance. And so I mean, as two of you step Myth forward and get onto the rock, Myth, you step on, but you put, you just put, and actually this is particularly fitting for an android, you put way too much pressure on the rock, so instead of stepping onto it, you kick <laughs> off and I start floating away. <laughs> Good thing I put on an EV suit. Activate the Magna Boots. Yes. Well, no, that's the thing. It's like it went, you're, when you use Magna Boots, you're supposed to be very gentle when you to let it click, and then you have to shuffle a little. Uh, uh, Android just you know, stomped oh, and did the one thing you don't do in an Evo suit and went, whoops. <laughs> Activating RCS thrusters. Uh, Myth, you can give me a control plus con. Difficulty of, unfortunately, four. Oh. Wait, isn't the thing still being held by the Kismet's tractor beam? Oh, it is. It's you that's having... The, it's your retro engines that are having the problem because of the interference. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can one of the two of them assist by, like, holding out a hand? Uh, uh, they, can they can help with uh, Reason Con to kind of help coordinate, try to help computers to help their suit computers to help his computer calculate how to get back her. Could I use what? composure or survival as a focus? Survival I'll give you, yep. Yeah. There's one success. Okay. Well, that's I assuming give... that uh, Myth gets any successes. Myth, I'd give the GM a threat. Okay, I'll give you a threat for another die roll here. Yes! All right. I just grab your ankle. <laughs> I mean, I got most of those successes. Ooh, ooh, buddy. I'm glad I had you spend that threat. <clears throat> so you're able to be rescued before you float off and away from the away team. Yay. I mean, I thought you were supposed yeah, to be a to smart to android. Clunk. Clunk. His body is still somewhat new. Yeah. Well, if um, if you need any help, <clears throat> maybe fine tune it. I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. Your uh, offer is appreciated, Lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, okay. Operations to away team, please respond. Um, away team here. Are you alright? We ju I just noticed one of you almost floated off there for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The away team's not here right now. Please call call back later. The situation is under control, Kiss. Thank you. Operations reports to the captain what almost happened, but it got resolved by the away team. Okay. Because <laughs> someone in operations just saw the little three little blips going over, and then one blip went whoop away. It's like, oh gosh, we, need, we might have to rescue them. Oh, no, everything's fine. Ooh. That was spooky. <clears throat> and that's why we have you here, Ben. And uh, I'm not... I'm not, uh... 
I don't think we should try to leave this asteroid field without Pend at the helm. Well, I would agree with that. Not to mention we shouldn't try to leave we shouldn't leave the away team down there. <laughs> I have a I have a bad feeling that whatever's going on out there, it's probably a diversion. If the Klingons aren't responding, I think this might be Adler's influence at play. Well, gentlemen and femdroid, shall we continue? Oh my god. I'm... Is, that like, is that like a slur? I, mm -hmm. I, think, that, I think that's a slur. Uh-huh. Are you a female android? I mean, he is a tellerite. Mm. He is a tellerite. Mm. Myth is just going to let that pass. Yes. Uh, Aaron's not gonna let that pass. I usually I, I I since I'm not an android, I really can't. But we could use a magnificent piece of engineering, but that's probably worse on the other end of the spectrum. I'm sorry. Myth just looks <laughs> confused between the two. Pend looks confused now. I believe we should get to work, lieutenants. Hmm? I believe we should get to work, lieutenants. Yes. Uh, let's do that. Uh, uh, walking across the surface of the asteroid, you notice that there are little... There is the, the big engine. The engine's about, I think, a massive uh, cylinder. Mm -hmm. Well, massive, large. Think it uh, about the size of, say, a... Uh, Slightly uh, bigger than a person. Think a smart car. If you know what I'm talking ah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about mm -hmm. that big, uh, big cylinder, uh, a blue uh, assem a ring, or around a black center. Hmm. Uh, the ring isn't is just is at a slow dim. Uh, on site pen, you know that just me the uh, ion engines. You if you ever want it to move again, you never shut them completely off because it takes forever to turn them on again. Uh, that's why no one uses them anymore. But uh, so it's kind of. So whoever did this probably just turned the power down to like instead of to zero percent like you would with like maneuver thrusters, it turned it down to like five two percent like just the so the the, the asteroid's probably moving at the tiniest of tiny bits. Okay, so at least on it's the plus side, still ion going. engines have terrible acceleration. So if it wanted to go fast, it'll take you will know long before it starts moving. I mean that also gives us a an advantage because if we set this to the theoretical return to sender it'll go in the right direction but extremely fucking slowly yeah i mean once it gets up to it can get up to speed and it can go pretty fast for a non-warp capable thing like it can move it can it moves at maneuvering speeds and theoretically with enough time it gets up to impulse speed but it takes forever to get to impulse speed oh yeah well, but before that stage it's cases we could po figure out possibly a direction t to look yeah and then turn the engine back off exactly that's why it's easier to do it from here than remotely because you can you can even eyeball it or check its uh uh Nap. displays all right and you do see there is no console on it it's very obviously designed for someone to remotely control it through an access uh code that's what makes it easier hard hack it hmm. So does that mean I can actually put the captain's wheel on the asteroid? Uh, you you need to get access to the wiring first. You have to get inside the casing. Yes. So, turn to Ron. Mm -hmm. I believe we need to gain access. I'll uh, get to it. And I'm gonna yeah. bring out a small sledgehammer from my engineer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a plasma torch. Uh, or uh, just a spanner if this is uh, this is bolted on. Yeah. And it's not it's not military grade. It's just kind of there's just stuff in the way between you and the wires. You know. And yeah. it's wires, not isolinear ships. Like that's another. Or I mean, it's not even plasma conduits. It's like good old fashioned wiring. And this Pend is why we learn about these walk things. Walk you through what wires do what. Mm -hmm. uh, to get into the casing alone it's going to be a con without damaging anything it's going to be control uh engineering difficulty yeah. two cool. could i assist you totally can we could i use my con with that 
Uh, this this as you're working on a propulsion device, yes. And I'm gonna use my reverse engineering. Uh, uh, that does work here. I'll just point out to him. Just kick it there, and it'll come open. <laughs> That's like fair. these things were these things were not were held together with prit stick and a prayer. Yeah. All right. Uh, rolling. Cool. So as you're working away uh, there, Ron, you get your your spanner gets the bolts the bolts loose of all the acronistic things, <laughs> and it's like okay, and then it's not moving. You try to pry at it, it's not really moving anywhere. Pen just kind of shrugs and just bumps it, and then the thing kind of floats away. Yeah, these things weren't designed so well. Sometimes you just have to yeah. give a good hit. What? what? These bolts aren't even self-sealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> self-sealing stem bolts. <clears throat> uh, and you see a tangle of wires, but there is one 24th century technology piece inside. And it looks to be an assembly no bigger than, say, a computer mouse uh, with a blinking uh, alternating green and blue lights. This shouldn't be too hard to identify. Uh, Mitt, would you uh, care to... Uh, Fitness security, to... everybody. Difficulty two. Oh, Fuck God. that. That's like my second worst word. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you survival again? For some reason it applies, yes. Oh. You like me. <laughs> A proximity mine or something. Could I? I you guys. <laughs> Could I give you a threat? I mean, sure. Why not? I have no nice. That apply. So that's two momentum. So we got two momentum. Mm -hmm. Say again, sorry, on the focus. I uh, so, no focuses oh. at work, but I have oh. values. <clears throat> uh, well, hang on. Both of you guys should take a momentum. Yes, please. Yeah. And that would mean... I'd rather <clears> take <throat> the two feet. momentum that Penn generated. Yeah, that's specifically why I went first and gave the threat so we could generate the momentum. There we go. Okay. okay. Uh, rolling. Ooh. Uh oh. <clears throat> um. So that was why I asked earlier why deter if determination uh, regen over time. Yes. At the beginning you're... of each session, yeah. Yeah, at so, the beginning of every session, you're always ha you always start with one determination. In that case, I'm gonna use one now. I think. Uh, do you? Oh, do you have a value? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Die I read the manual. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. So re-roll your two fails. <clears throat> um, yeah, that one. There you go. There you go. Mm. Huh. So the device, uh, you see here, dee -dee 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 -dee, and all of you just from training and uh, just dive away from it and grab onto something. Like, well, you don't dive so much because you know if you do that, you're just going to whoop. Like, yay, I'm away from the explosion. And now I'm being propelled into space. Uh, yeah. So you both kind of, you all just kind of flatten and try to move, move as far away as you can and then flatten down. It explodes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no sound because in space, uh, but there is a bright flash, and debris flung everywhere. And not long after, there's another explosion that you three can see, that's way larger out here. Like huh. you can see it sure. as a massive orange blue explosion occurs. No, I didn't see it. I had my everything in the way. <laughs> but yeah, okay. It was a little bit uh, below the asteroid field. Okay. That's a uh, warbird. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. So those thrusters are, are gone? Fuck. I mean, not uh, necessarily. Uh, do, do you guys get up? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kismet, you, your visual sensors detect the explosion, because that's a massive energy surge, because uh, that was a warp core breach. Mm. Warp core? Wait. Oh. wait, 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 just... Oh boy, <laughs> that's not good. Tactical, reading. Going for it. Uh, 
I'm guessing that too. I just know that's a Wolf Core Breach from that. Uh, Wolf Core Breach, uh, cause unknown, because you need to get closer to sense it. Mm -hmm. But on sight, that's a Warp Core explosion. Nothing destroys the ship that completely, like a Warp yeah. uh, without the, the Warp Core going. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to call down to the away team. Away team, you think you can hold position? Uh, yeah. We might need to. We take have a to. Moment here. We have to check in on that explosion, and we don't have any time to waste. Just a quick question: Is there anything left of the thruster? As you get up and look, uh, there's some debris floating out from it. Uh, you'd have to inspect it <clears throat> to see if there's anything worth salvaging in there. Quick question: So, it, did they fail at that test? Oh, they made it. That's why no one got hurt. Oh. <laughs> They all ran away from it and flattened, and spa uh, the explosion wasn't massive. Like it didn't blow, it didn't blow up. It, it didn't blow up the entire uh, engine. It just caused an explosion in that compartment. Uh -huh. Which, if you were standing in front of it, that would have been really bad because even a tiny tear would have compromised your suit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, right. We have Captain, the there may be nothing left here, but yeah. we can hold position. Also, we have the shuttle. If you need to go, we'll we'll catch up. It's fine. Understood. Kismet out. All right. Uh, scene change, but you have no momentum, so don't worry about it. <sighs> mm hmm <laughs> So the Kismet moves away? Uh-huh. Or, we're, yeah, we're heading out to where that explosion was. As you start moving out of the field, you are hailed from something no more than say uh, that's something that's in contact with the ship oh oh and this is why we put weapons on ships I'm hey, with captain on screen uh, audio only hello captain uh, don't leave the field or you're gonna die uh, that's not a threat that's a warning <clears throat> Adler yeah, really. You need to stop before they see us. Before they see us? Yes. Who's they? The people who just blew up the other Klingon ship. You think they're there just for them? They're not letting either of us leave here alive. Who are we dealing with? Cut the games, Adler. I'll come aboard and explain it to you, but you need to stop moving out of the field. Understood. Captain Brennan out. Uh, orders, Captain? We should, uh, yeah, he... warn the away team. Huh? We should warn the away team. Well, actually, hang on. So, first off, insight secure, uh, insight command check. Uh, roll it difficulty two. Just actually, I'll go one step further. I'm gonna go one step further. One moment. <clears throat> Let me check your values real quick. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> I know All right. I am. Uh, this is <laughs> optional, uh, but I am willing to invoke, uh, n in a negative sense, either hopeless romantic or head in the stars. Oh. Um, if you, if you allow it. Um, you uh, will fail this test because your your character your character's own values is blinding him, but you'll gain a determination point. Ooh, gonna take it. I'm gonna take <laughs> that hopeless romantic. Mm -hmm. And for the purposes of normal milestone, that counts as it being invoked in a negative way. So even if you don't spend today, you I I I gave you the option to purposely fail. Hmm. Oh boy. So you think about it and you just, it, you're too foggy minded. You can't think straight right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I did that to myself, though. <laughs> All right. Chief, meet me in the transporter room. Uh, Captain, do, do I continue course? Says the helm officer. No. Hold uh, position. All stop. Reading all stop.
and head down to the transporter room. Uh, Captain? Uh, engines, maneuvering thrusters are still active. I can't get them to shut off. What? <laughs> Something's overriding my controls. I can't get it from here. We're going to keep moving out of this asteroid field. Uh, ETA, 30 minutes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, hopefully the way team can finish up their business on on the asteroid and get back here as soon as possible. Call the away team. The away team. <laughs> away team? Away team, yeah. Our timetable is moved up. You need to get back to the Kismet as soon as possible. Finish your uh, finish your attempts to hack into the asteroid system. See if you can set up a remote uplink. Uh, once you've hacked in, see if you can set up a remote uplink to the Kismet, and then get back here. Yes, sir. So going back to the away team. Um, so the three of you finally are able to stand up, and you see the Kismet f slowly floating away. Um, bits of debris kind of tumbling everywhere in space. Uh, I'll quickly say to Aran, uh, go get that console out the the shuttle, and yeah. Lieutenant Myth, can you help me with getting this engine up and running? See if we can get any info off it. Yeah, because well, right, you brought the backup module. I did. Yes, sir. Now the I I was about to say, well, can can Myth get the thing? But then again. She didn't land last time, so <laughs> I'll I'll get it. So you go back to the shuttle. Yeah, it's gonna be fitness con difficulty two. Why don't you have Ted do this? Well, he asked me so, and he's he outranks me uh, for some. Uh, okay, reason. I give the GM a threat then. <laughs> All right, uh, fitness con. Yeah, yeah. Uh, small craft. With increased complication. Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hey, you didn't even need Got to spend it. the thread. So you walk over, and you, you very carefully uh, plant both your feet on the asteroid, and then carefully extend one foot out and connect with the uh, deck plating. Uh, the deck plating. Yeah, deck plating, I'm right. The floor, if you will, the ramp into the shuttle and then very carefully pull yourself over and then you walk. Now you're within the gravity of the, the anti-grav of the shuttle so you're able to walk normally. Mm. Just like... Oh, and the shuttle just... is now maneuvering away from the asteroid. Oh shit. Oh mother. Well, there's nothing else I can do except take control of the shuttle, right? Uh, you can hang on for a ride and hope you don't hit anything. <laughs> Uh, no, so mm. I'd grab that, uh, I'd grab that emergency console and jump. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just push it out of the, of, of the shuttle's gravity, and I'll do the rest myself. Yeah, I'll make that happen. <laughs> Are you gonna so you're gonna throw it out of the shuttle? Just I'm get gonna, on the yeah. shuttle, take control, and then beam it down. Yeah, I'll make that happen in that case. It's much better. Wait, wh uh, which which thing are you doing? It, the it, last it, one. You're trying to beam it? Take control, beam it. Okay, so that would be a... Well, hold on. Uh, to take control of the ship, Yeah. Uh, you walk over to the console for the uh, shuttle. Mm -hmm. uh, it appears there's an overload on the maneuver thrusters and... Uh, there is no, and you, you, there's a part of the panel, the glass panel, where there's supposed to be a little uh, directional pad and some speed indicators and stuff. That's mm -hmm. blank right now. I fucking hate other hackers. <laughs> <laughs> every but... hacker ever. <laughs> I hate other hackers, says every hacker ever. Uh -huh. hmm. All right. Um, well, I mean,. I don't have to read panels to fly a ship. I've been doing this since I was 10. It's not a value, but I, it should be, I suppose. Well, the issue is you have no interface. Yeah. So unless you tend to hotwire this thing. Oh. Oh, son. Mm. 
You, you or, said break uh, it. It's, hijack it's it. my safe word. It's, yeah, hijack it. Uh, I'm going to ask you for a daring con or daring engineering difficulty two. Uh, yeah. Uh, daring engineering difficulty two. And uh, uh, small craft. craft. Small craft, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, the shuttle isn't helping you. No, no, it doesn't. I wonder uh, why. Uh, I'd, say give the, I'd say give the good GM a threat. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept trying to say give him a threat. <laughs> so roll. Well, roll, roll one more? Yeah, because we're giving the GM a yeah. threat. Fuck! You Thank can't you. Re roll that. Because you gave him a threat and you have bold engineering. Yeah. Remember this. I... Is... Yes, I'm re rolling that because of bold engineering. Come on, complication. God damn it. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. False. <laughs> just, just throw the console at me, please. Yeah, I'm... Yes, I think it's um... too late. Mm. I think it's, it's too late. late. Yeah, because you, you, you spent your, your, you spent your attempt trying to get the thing under control. Shit stacks. Well, and now the two of you have to do this on your own. Fuck it, we're doing it live. So what is Pend and Myth doing as the shuttle is now maneuvering quite speedily away? Um, if Myth could do the wiring while I fix the engine, hold, I'm going to try and... Hold I on. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I forgot I had old habits die hard as a value. <laughs> Well, you've already used your determination. I know. I have used <laughs> one determination. You, you don't have more than one. Oh. Uh, unless, I have one way to get it is through... My... Oh, do you have a normal milestone you haven't spent? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can do that. Uh, yeah. What was that? All that milestone for was for last episode? Yes. Uh, did you do anything revol uh, in that episode no, regarding it's... ships or hacking? Uh... We're going to ships and hacking. No, but transporting. Nope. If they need the con console, that is. Uh, you could use that if you want to transport the console to them. You could use that in the milestone for that. Hmm. But it wouldn't be. It wouldn't help you because you can still beam stuff from the shuttle. You just can't control its navigation. Right. Yeah. Okay, so beam it down to them. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh. Okay, so difficulty of that. Uh, are you gonna spend that um, um, I mean, milestone for that? If I don't yeah. have to, I'm not gonna use that. But fair enough. Well, what's uh, so the difficulty? Difficult? It's gonna cost one power from the shuttle. Yeah. It's, uh, it's gonna be to explode anyway. So. What is the difficulty? <laughs> Control engineering. Uh, difficulty of. You're doing it from a pad because you're doing it from the shuttle, so it's not yeah. that much harder. You're beaming it, not to a pad, so that. And does this thing use sensors? Unfortunately, it does. So, because it uses sensors, sensors engineering. So, doop. Uh, difficulty five. <laughs> so yeah, I'd spend that determination. Yeah, I think I'm gonna spend that determination. Spend that uh, determination and give him sorry. two threat. Yeah. I'm gonna spend the back at you. Complication goes up to three. Oh my god. I'm sorry, it goes up to two. It goes up to two. I'm being unfair. How many dice do I roll? Uh, with that much, you get, you roll three dice. Three dice, cool. And I have transporters and replicators, so focus is used. Uh, yeah. Three dice. Hmm. Don't worry me, don't worry me, stop. <laughs> okay, One, two, that three, is, four, that and is, five. That's five. Do you want to roll? Assisted by the shuttle. I wasn't assisted by the shuttle, right? Uh, you are for transporting. Oh, for transporting, cool. Sensors engineering. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I don't have that up right now. I'll roll it. The Neruda. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Sensors nice. engineering, you say? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, at... Literally a six. As oh. the shuttle is drifting away, you see the panel beam uh, next okay, to you, Pen. Hang on, before before you do that. Oh. Because <laughs> uh, he, he hasn't done it yet, and I don't think he knows that he can. Uh, Aran, roll a challenge die. Oh 
challenge die? One. It, one challenge die. Uh, sorry. Oh, untapped potential. That's what yep. you're saying. I forgot about that so, myself. Uh, Are the sheets still weird with the challenge die where you have to hit enter? Yes, you do. Yeah. So when Roll you typed in the one, hit enter, and then yeah. the select. That's weird. Yeah, that's very weird. Because usually, even if you don't get... Can I? Give me a sec. Let's see. Huh. Worked on my end. Weird. Huh. Yeah, that, that's weird. It doesn't display anything. So, no. then I guess no momentum then? Uh, a ran roll one more time. Rolling one challenge die. There it goes. And he gets uh, a, I, I think... Here's the thing. Hadfield and I don't quite... We're not quite sure. Um, mm -hmm. Don't you get one momentum, but you get a threat? On an effect, yeah. That's the, that's the trade-off. If you get an effect, you get one momentum, and uh, you give the GM a threat. Okay. so That's the double-edged have... sword to it. Yep, yeah. so we do have a momentum. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right. But yes, the the panel beams over to pen to the uh, pen and uh, myth as the shuttle uh, drifts away. Hmm. I tap my uh, comm badge and say, "I'm gonna have to uh, fix this whole situation. You you have fun with uh, mounting that." Uh, I run out. Wait, I just had the realization though. Um, uh, shouldn't the Asteroids still be tracking the kismet because we have the tractor beam on it. <laughs> uh, would you have dragged it with you with the away team? I mean, presumably. I mean, we oh, okay. I wouldn't recommend anything like that. Mm -mm. No, because the shuttle wasn't on it. It was floating next to it. So if we took the asteroid with us, we just left the shuttle in the middle of a debris field. <laughs> to, actually, to be fair, the uh, pen could have set it to automate it uh, and track alongside it. Oh, I'll give it. Yeah. But uh, there is the problem of now the uh, uh, the asteroid isn't there. It's now like over here. Oops, let's move that one out of the way. Ah, well, there. It's that big now. <laughs> that ditch is big. Well, so which do we want it to be, then? Gosh mm. darn it. Stop that. No. Probably leave it where it was, so we don't have to okay. try and worry about yeah. it. Yep, I that's mean, fine, because was... you can move it around once you've activated it. Yeah. The, there you go. What I was going to say was that if, if we move it out of its trajectory, it might interfere with uh, how it figures out how to get home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, in that case, um, the two of them are going to have to make their engineering check. It's true. Uh, when you approach the assembly, uh, and you have the, uh, the panel in hand, the interfa the con interface in hand, uh, you notice that the explosion, um, it damaged a lot of the wiring, but it didn't, it didn't scuttle the engine. It seemed to be anti-personnel based, not anti-material based. I can still fly it then. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, it's it has the um, impacted quality, so it's harder or damaged quality, so it's harder to use than it would have been undamaged. Well, that's mm -hmm. perfectly fine because we've pushed the limits. If an engine is taken damage, the difficulty is reduced by one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and for uh... the so to install the uh, con panel, um, well, sorry, you still have to get control of the darn thing. Yeah, we Panels. still have to get into the computer system, I think. Yeah. Uh, that will be a control... Uh, engineering? Brain. Control engineering or science role, difficulty of um, four... But the complication range is three because it's badly damaged. So, if mm -hmm. with this being an engine, I could use my con. Yes. Uh, and what's your so control? Because I, uh, I see Myth has control science five. I have control science, uh, control con of seventeen total. 
Oh. Yeah, I'll assist then. Yep, and give the GM that lovely threat. I love gi giving the GM threat. Uh, actually, how much you want to give him? I can't believe I'm asking that. Oh, so the difficulty. So is the difficulty starting at four, but I'm taking it down to three, or was it five down to four? Um, it started at four, but oh. you're doing your repair job. You're getting. You're trying to gain access to it, so you're not dropping the difficulty yet. Okay, just oh. just double checking. Yeah, okay. worth asking. Um, can I, I'll give him an extra two, so I can roll a, a fourth dice. I'm going to throw those back at you, increase the complication by one. So, so what was that complication of three? Uh, was three, now it's up to four. You got re-rolls. Which, by the way, it is now entirely possible for Pen to both succeed and complicate. <laughs> and complicate, yeah. <laughs> Because he, on a 17, he succeeds. It's also a complication. I'm going to re-roll that zero. Uh-huh. Why not? <laughs> For seven successes. Are you going wow. to assist? I, uh, I think I just step back and don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I just watch. I mean, it's, it's, good for, it's good for the momentum. Pend, uh, with a rather practiced hand, uh, oh, is, is able to, um... Yeah, that's three. Y you find that you... There's a lot of wiring that you know is not really... It would be... It would suck to lose it, but then again, it's already broken and you don't have replacements, so you're actually better off just getting it out of your way so you can see what you're doing. Just, and you don't have to worry about tearing your suit. Just grabbing handfuls of wires, just yanking out. Don't need that. Go away. Uh, well, you seem to know what you're doing, sir. And then eventually, now you can see, then it's just a matter of unplugging a wire from one place, putting it into another, and you just do that for a little bit. And then you find a little switch in a very awkward place, because it's not meant for a person. It's meant for this thing to be on a lab bench on Earth, and someone with tools working with it, not some astronaut messing with it barehanded. Well, quote-unquote barehanded. Mm -hmm. um, but you're able to find the switch, and you're able to flick it, and that sets it into a reset cycle which means uh for diagnostic purposes which is another way of saying you now can get controlled you just need an interface although i will say um for two momentum you can you can uh get control of this thing without whoever sent this thing ever knowing that you got in yep. done so oh instead of flipping God. the switch you almost you, you reach for the switch and then realize whoops that'll alert what we're doing uh let's rewire the diagnostic wires and now do it. Click. So there's a diagnostic cycle, but for some reason, it's not telling the controller that that happened. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, Lieutenant, would you like to go through these diagnostics with me? See if we can find out who's messing around with our ships. Very well, Lieutenant. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile... Uh, drop a uh, new scene uh, aboard the Kismet approaching the teleportation pad. Uh, who is in the teleporter room? Uh, I would like me and. Uh, Hi. Uh, yeah, and Chief uh, Verdon. No. Or did I get it wrong? Barter! Get <laughs> <laughs> that and... name! Is Ifrix just uh, uh, holding the con? Yep. Have fun, <laughs> Ifrix. <laughs> uh, is there anything Ifrix <laughs> is doing while the ship drifts uh, further and further out of the uh, field? Um, I'm going to bring us a yellow alert because they said someone was going to blast us. Uh, we were already at yellow alert. Were we? I thought we were at blue. Uh, there was a blue hazard alert earlier when something almost hit you, but you uh, revert back to yellow. Oh, okay, sorry, it's been robot -y, so I might have missed. Uh, you can escalate to red, because you suspect that you might be shot at, you might want weapons. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, let's go well, for... We're going to have to bring down shields for a moment to allow a beam on. That's true. Oh. So... Uh... So bring down shields for a moment, and then 
once the beam on is over, raise shields again. Those are my standing orders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on your way to the teleportation pad, uh, the transporter, uh, before you even get the shields down, uh, you're informed that uh, they have a guest that just beamed onto the pad. <laughs> they were already oh, inside our, you know, our shield sphere. Not necessarily. It could be that whatever uh, source was inside our shield. Just parked on the hull. Mm -hmm. The spoilers is that it's parked on the hull, yeah. Neither, neither of those are particularly reassuring. Let me just Agreed. put it this way. Be glad I didn't roll a complication on my end earlier in the game because they would have crashed. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you try oh. landing a bird of prey on a moving starship. Hold on. Hold on. Easy. Hold on. I'm holding. Womp. So one of those false positives might have been a true positive. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get so much credit and so much in trouble. Oh my god, no, the great thing is, is like, huh, oh no, that can't possibly be a false positive. It's reading it on the hull of the ship. Yeah, I'm gonna Clearly get so much in trouble. Ship. Uh, standing on the pad, the two of you see a purple haired uh, human woman in a uh, jumps in a uh, bright blue jumpsuit. And she has on her hip uh, what looks to be a uh, some sort of plasma pistol. Uh, on her other hip is a... It looks to be almost like... Think like a... Like a kit. So... Um, almost like a small toolbox size, if you get what I mean. But it's kind of attached to her belt. Um, and on her uh, over her chest, where a com badge might be for some people, uh, you notice there's a strange emblem that doesn't that doesn't immediately click. It's not the Delta that the Federation uses, but it's not any uh, government symbol you're immediately aware of. Huh. Adler, Captain, stay in the doorway. <laughs> oh, you brought a date. Cute. Oh no! 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 I don't swing that way. Oh, I don't know, Justin. Meow. <laughs> so, um... I was wondering how are you? if I could... Fine. That's good. But, you know, I'll be even better once I get some explanations, Adler. Yeah? Well, it would seem that certain elements of your Starfleet uh, are trying to kill me. Apparently, advancing uh, humanity into the next stage of evolution is a crime. Advancing humanity into its next stage of evolution? Oh, I thought you were well read. Surely you know of Terra Nova. <sighs> Fuck. <clears throat> She's a Nazi. Man. You're a member of Terra Nova? Uh, yes and no. I'm, shall we say, a opinion uh, leader. So, you're a member of Terra Nova? Eh, they listen to me. Oh, I can't believe Terra I ever found you attractive. Anyway, um... Oh, but you do. I can sense it. You can sense it? Yes. Are you familiar with Esper ratings, Captain? Uh, here we go. Did you know you can artificially induce it? The galactic barrier, yes, I'm familiar oh, with it. We don't need the galactic barrier. And she reaches into her kit and pulls out one of the Calcrit crystals and is holding it. And you can see there's black tendrils streaking throughout it. And it, you can you can sense a, a overwhelming sense of despair pulsing from it. Like even you uh, at the door, you can feel like psychically this this aura of despair. I am holding the future of humanity in my hand, Captain. 
empathy, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, all the powers denied to humanity. Right here. The next step for all of us. Here. No. Those are powers that we're not supposed to dabble with. Powers that we're not ready for. They're powers that we know about, but that we are not ready for. Well, be that as it may, she puts it back in her bag. I submit myself to your detention. Although I would suggest you don't put me anywhere with crewmen you're not familiar with because certain elements of the Federation want me and all of my philosophy dead. Federation citizen or not. You do realize that you are under arrest and will be returned to Federation space, right? Only if I survive to see it. But if I do get back, I'll be fine. Understood. In that case, Chief, you would please escort Ms. Adler to the brig. Aye, sir. Gotta take that pistol first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Does she, kind of, she actually kind of tilts her hip a little bit and kind of winks at you, like making it a little easier for you to grab it. Uh, hi. Oh. Hi. Uh, You're actually, new. not necessarily. Well, if you'll come with me, please. Of course. Oh, uh, one other thing, Captain. All the Klingons here are in orders to kill uh, anyone who has me aboard. <clears throat> so, um, good luck with that. They probably know I'm here. Uh, and the Tarna's probably going to make a run for it elsewhere. And if they're smart, they'll probably sell the information that I'm over here. So, yeah. The captain sort of just, you know, starts rubbing the bridge of his nose. But if you want, I can solve that problem. What kind of deal with the devil are we talking about here, Adler? Eh, oh. Don't think I'm not that arrogant. I'm no devil. I'm just evolved. I can just crush their minds and melt them, and no. they'll just be dead in space. We're not doing that. All right. Just trying to make it easy for you. Out of character, I have an idea how to fix this, but. Yeah. Yes, it's called castration. <laughs> no, 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 that too, but it's also called infiltration. Heavy concern. Since um, I'm already almost piloting a shuttle. Okay. Already almost piloting. <laughs> it's just a question of time. Alrighty. Hey, so I guess Walker to the brig and uh get all of the stuff off. Basically, she only needs her clothes in the brig. Uh, as you start reaching for the crystals, uh, I'm going to require you to... Yep. And now we'll have to look for a new security officer. Hey. <laughs> First, Maybe. Hey, security officer has good fitness, right? And medicine. Yeah, he's got a 10 foot... He's got a... Sadly, focus. no. Didn't think so. Oh, he does have I athletics. Do not hear him. Salted. Oh, psychic. Okay, yeah, no, fuck me then. <laughs> <laughs> no, not physically, psychically. Oh, hey. I'm thick headed, okay? What was the difficulty? I suppose. It's a pose. And 
Mm -hmm. Well, fortunately, mm -hmm. that means that the GM doesn't bread out of it. Uh, Varder, uh, you have the uh, crystals in your... Oh. Alright, this is fine. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Nah, you know. <laughs> Purr. Her chest. Uh, Enterprise era blasters. Okay. Uh, so very low tech, super cheap. So you just turn it off, um, or unplug the battery. Like it's it's fairly simple. Mm -hmm. um, the bag is full of what looks to be some red crystals with black. Uh, Uh, looking at them gives you a sense of despair, so, you know, that's fun. Uh, but on site, you don't... Okay. Can I hear... Should I actually pat down search? On her. Uh, imagine the multi tool that engineers use, but a lot smaller and a lot thinner. Um, what else would you have call. on her? You do find you know, finding that you didn't you didn't start feeling around and you find the, the connecting wire. She has the jack, but without the wire, it's not it doesn't do her anything. Is, is there anything else? Um, would she have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> And the table is getting slightly more stacked up with stuff. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's that scene where it's like you have oh, in her belt bag. buckle. Uh, you uh, you remember that Klingon? Of that, that you assemble a a plasma type one device. Mm -hmm. So you find that. It makes even more sense given he's fought Klingons before. <laughs> to the break. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Oh, you missed one more. That's when the force field comes up. Yes. I don't have a you know, handbook written for that. Officer says... Referix. Yes, Chief? We have, um... a bag full of living crystals here. I forget the name of them. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know what he means. His benefit. Oh no, he uh, actually figures the name of it. I I remember the name of it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. right. Uh, are they red? Yes. With little oh. black veins. Wait, are they red? I thought they were straight up black. 
Were they uh, black no. with red veins or red with black veins? Red with black veins. Oh. Here we go. Well, I'm choking on something, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Okay, I'm good. Don't die. Don't die. I was gonna say, don't die on us. Yeah. Yeah, no, that'd be That's different. Okay. You haven't There's had like... one die in real life yet. Mm hmm. Uh... Okay, there's like five people there that knew the Heimlich on him. He's fine. Uh, all right. Um, be very gentle with them. Are you handling them with your bare hands? They're in a bag. He's Pajora. He doesn't have bare hands. <laughs> I'm not touching them if that's what you're asking. Yes. Uh. Gosh. Who have we talked? Myth isn't here. Shoot. We probably talked to Cecil about the, the crystals, right? Yeah. Um. If you could take them to Lieutenant Cecil and science, that would probably be the best place for it for now. All right, I'll do that. I can't technically just, like, leave the bridge. Well, I think at about that point, the captain enters the bridge. Uh, before you do that, um, Mr. Uh, Master Chief? Wait, uh, isn't Phaser Type 2 only two challenge dice? Then, um, uh, you click the little Starfleet symbol next to your phaser type 2. 2, 4, 5, 6. So, Q, you fire her at her and she, she just drops unconscious. Uh, bridge, as the, uh, as the captain steps on, tactical pipes up. Uh, phaser fire in the brig. Captain Grenin to Brig. This is Varder. Uh, she just leapt through the force field. So even the Brig isn't safe. Uh, she does not seem to be resistant to phaser fire, however. That's... Good, at least. 
Dr. Efrix? Yes, sir. I want you to see if there's something that you can do to reverse this Esper process. <laughs> uh, I'll do my best, sir. Well, first, first the doctor's heard of it. First the doctor's what? It's the first the doctor's heard of it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had explained that to her. My bad. I mean, I'll I'll try. <laughs> there's a there's an esper process, yeah, sir. I was going to say, okay, and the captain will sort of explain to her basically what's going on. Um, are you familiar with the uh, esper uh, the esper episode there, uh, Effort? It was like in. It was like. It, it's in like TOS. Yeah, it's like the second episode of TOS. Yes. Okay, so I, I won't. I won't bore you with that. You. You know what he's talking about. Yeah. Yes. That these crystals are able to instigate the, uh, the Esper effect, uh, the Esper rating in humans. Great. potential other ways out. Is that something I might put... know of? <laughs> um, if you put them in, like, the main lobby or lounging area, yeah, but if you put them in, like, the refresher or in the bedroom area, uh, you can kind of, you can just lock someone in there and turn Oh, it like a them. subsection yeah. of a corridor, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that and stick two people on the door. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want me, do you want me to carry her, or You want me to just contact someone else to be, uh, hold the door for you? Uh, yeah, get someone else to meet me there. Okay, will do. Or en route, whenever they can meet me. Uh, yeah. Good luck with the leaping lady, sir. Well, yeah. Master Chief, sorry. Is it just there's no one in security above the rank of Master Chief? They're just all non-commissioned people? <laughs> Well, no, no, there are. It's I mean, just often that... most of them probably are. No, yeah. it's just that you have a specific, uh, you have a specific skill set that qualifies you to be our chief of security. Fair yeah. enough. And actually, security, uh, according to the operations book, security is one of the departments that has the most enlisted because it's here's a oh, favor yeah. that way, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, but there's still lieutenants and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, and, and yeah. yeah, technically you're enlisted, but you're also a special case. I'm big. As touched on at the towards the beginning of the episode. Yeah. The the other uh, officers are more. Uh, they're like specialists in certain areas of security. So if you need like a a uh, a certain thing done, then you can ask for their expertise. But you're the overall chief of uh, security aboard ship. All right. Well, I guess we'll just shoulder carry this lady uh, on the me... opposite hip to the phaser. <laughs> Smart. Uh, we're gonna pan over to, uh, scene change over to the shuttle. Um, have any momentum. so, yeah, you're still in motion. Oh, the, the shuttle. The asteroid is, uh, getting further and further away, and so is the kismet, and you're starting to leave the, uh, uh, asteroid field. Ah. You're gonna wanna get that shuttle 
up and running again. Yeah, I wasn't told that there uh, is uh, stuff outside the field as well, by the way. So uh, it's going to be cool. <sighs> I will say you do know that if you get outside of the field, uh, the engine, the con system won't have as much tr a trouble because that is, uh, or interference. Same with mm. the sensor systems. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> uh, but I will have a problem with not having shields and. Uh, uh, oh, you still have no. shield control. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I am um, shot. Potentially. Let's Potentially. see. Potentially. Hmm. So, Aaron. Yeah, he's gonna. He's just gonna talk to the computer. Uh, ask for diagnostics and all that. Gonna try and get into the computer and get it to hand control back over. Computer, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> uh... Primary physical interface to Helm is damaged. Cause of damage? Unknown. Run a uh, level one diagnostic. Well, I'll take it a bit. No, level one diagnostic is uh, the most comprehensive. Oh, fuck. Right. Level, I don't know. Three. Three four, diagnostic. Four or three will probably be what you're looking for. Run a level three diagnostic while I fiddle about with this. Yeah. Processing. Thank you. Um. So what part of the ship are you trying to fiddle with? Well, I'm going to try to see if I can get the panel to light up, at least. Uh, in this case, the ship is now able to assist you, because you've told it to... You've actually told it directly to help you. Yeah. Um, so that means that you are rolling a control engineering task, difficulty 3, assisted by the shuttle's uh, computers plus uh, engineering. <clears throat> okay. Uh, take, give, him, give the GM a threat, so roll three dice. All right, and I have small craft as usual. Yep. Um, You're a small craft. Well, yeah, I am a small craft actually. I have a spacesuit on. Nope. Uh, rolling. Uh, nice. Yeah. You want to re-roll that zero and see if you get any momentum? I mean. Or a complication? Ah, uh, fuck it. Why not? Complications are just fun. Hey! Hey, there you go. And yeah. then uh, roll your challenge die. Okay. Untapped what? potential, yep. Uh, nothing. Nothing either way. Um, so, uh, you have found out, you figured out between you and the computer that the uh, someone took a plasma torch to the connectors uh, between the uh, engine assembly and the uh, panel. So the, it's a physical cut. Um... You know that that also means that the actual software of the ship's helm still functions. You could continue to voice talk, um, or you can spend two momentum and start scrounging around for supplies, and then just rewire, uh, re, uh, rewire, uh, replace the isolated chips and the connectors, and then you'll have regular controls again over the ship. Well, really? regular controls is the most fun to fly by. So yes, uh, but I'm gonna ask. The so we're going to spend the two momentum then? Yes. Uh, and I'm going to ask the computer as well. Uh, who uh, who did this? Just oh, ask. hang on. Uh, one thing to note, though. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can leverage this in any way. Um, the shuttlecraft Naruda has rugged design. Yeah. Design oh, you, you would have gotten an extra momentum because it would have been easier to fix it. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. So we still have one then. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. I'm glad I caught that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't have it up, so I couldn't see. Yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah. Who... <sighs> Who's worked on this shuttle uh, recently? Insight security difficulty too, as you're querying the computer, because the computer can't intuit stuff, but you can from data it gives you. Uh, the shuttle is assisting you though with computers plus security, because it's giving you security information. Cool. Uh, so, computer security. Security. 
Yeah. Well, the ship yeah. Rosity, yeah, shuttles are kind of crap. <laughs> but mm. well, occasionally they come through. Occasionally. Question. Question. Uh, yeah. I have a uh, background in uh, being stealthy as hell and uh, covering my tracks sometimes. Uh, would infiltration help? Well, don't you infiltration also would help. You're oh, right. Computers. Cool. Oh, you better. Hmm? Huh, I thought you had a computer's talent. I do. I have, I have, I have a values in that case. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I'm... Okay, uh, I'd give the GM another threat. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. Uh, rolling three, complication range one. I'm spending two moment. I'm spending two of my threat for a complication. All right. Complication. Doesn't affect your roll. It's something else that happened. Okay, you're just making a complication happen. Yes. Cool. So complication range one. That's for three. Oops. Oops. Three tag. Do, do, do. And we get a momentum. I'll worry about that later. That's a different group. And on. Uh, so we get one momentum and roll your roll your thing. Roll my, uh, your roll my thing. Time. What? Challenge time, right? You get two more momentum. <laughs> so up to four. Actually, could we spend that two uh, momentum to cancel out your complication? I'm gonna say no. Hmm. Okay, that's the fair. Story thing. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Hmm, what? <sighs> Am uh, I not supposed to be able to see this stuff? I think so, but... Because I, I, I've been able to see your GM whispers all game. Huh. Hmm. Can you see uh, cloaked ships on the map? No. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. I can see <laughs> GM whispers, though. Oh, I think it's because you have access to the sheet. You might be able to see whispers because of that. Mm. 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 I'll experiment oh, well. later with that. I'm not sure. Okay. But so... don't worry about it. I'll trust you. Uh, I'm just gonna oh, read, fuck. read a little bit. Uh, I have so many windows open. I need to clean this up. Is, yeah. is that the complication that you made? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the complication was was to make it so that it wasn't just Ensign No Name. Yeah. yeah. Could I could I ask? Real quick, who... Uh, you, you can just say yes or no. Is uh, this person currently at Tactical? Yes. Fuck. Uh, uh, and uh, this person is not engineering. No. Just saying. Alright, so I'm um, gonna send a... Uh, well, while, while screwing away... Um, I haven't rolled yet about uh, getting control of the ship yet, right? Uh, you have control of the system, you just haven't stopped yet. Oh, well, then I'm gonna stop. Control con, difficulty two. Yeah, uh, assisted by engines con. Unless you're waiting till you get outside the field, then it's uh, difficulty zero. I'm not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's meta, but I'm not waiting. Hey, hey, narrative uh, fiat. We'll give it that. Yeah. Uh, take take a momentum. So <laughs> still, still rolling three, but the GM ain't getting any extra die. Yeah. Uh, this time. Still small crafts. Complication range one. Rolling. Yeah. It did it. Yeah. It stopped. All right. Yeah. Um. You're just at the edge of the field, but you uh you managed not to fall out of its uh, interference field. Shuttlecraft Neruda to USS Kismet. Please respond. Uh, I hate to t do this to you, but it's going to be a control engineering test. Yeah. I uh, assisted by your shuttle's communications engineering, you are being opposed. Mm. Mm. Rolling. Uh, wait, wait. Give him mm -hmm. threat. Giving threat? 
give them a threat so you can have the reroll. I'll spend two. Of course you are. Communication. So, it's communications rolling. engineering. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no folks, it's complication range <sighs> one has goal of two. Man, right? this this shuttle ain't just ain't doing shit today. Rolling. And a re-roll. Uh, and you should have rolled a third die. I should have rolled a third die. And you can roll one more. You can roll that zero. Done. Five successes. I get to re-roll one of those because of an ability. Doesn't matter. And the ship helps me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> What? Nothing, nothing weird's happening at all. Don't worry about it, Captain. Fine. Is the Kismet helping you? Maybe. You know how much that would piss me off? <laughs> <laughs> Still not enough. Oh. <laughs> Come on, ship, give me rerolls. You don't give me rerolls for this sort of thing, do you? No. no. Damn you. Ship works for me. It's my baby. Um, Captain, uh, you hear a very distorted, uh, hail, uh, chime coming from the tactical station. Like, it's almost like it's muted, like it's been turned down. So you couldn't hear that you were being hailed. The captain... But, the... yeah. Uh, the ensign then says, oh, we're getting a hail. The signal is very weak. Can you turn it up, please, Ensign Hachiban? I, uh, I, sir. Uh, I got audio. Boosting signal. What do we hear? Uh, this you, is you hear. Yeah, this is yeah. Lieutenant Jameson Aaron. Direct order: apprehend Ensign Akira Tachiban. And That's Captain, you're being shot. Oh. <laughs> Why am I not there doing it? Shooting the captain or the captain, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, you... fucking duck. That, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, you gonna you gonna shoot me? Shoot me, yeah. bruh. <laughs> what hit me, hit me! <laughs> come at me, come at me, bruh. Has he got a medical tray? If, if so, Grennan's fucked. <laughs> Throw a medical tray at him. How <laughs> again? No. He, he doesn't have, have any, uh... He guy does not have any, uh, threat to throw at me. Still hits. Oh, but he still hits, yeah. Only just, though, so I don't get any threat out of it. Who? <sighs> I mean, it's... Buddy pal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he had the miner to draw it, so he doesn't get to do anything fancy with it. Oh. Uh. And I don't have threat to make it lethal, so he just stuns you. <clears throat> okay. I One moment. Down. Hold that thought. That's just degrading, but he also is star Starfleet, so yeah. I'm gonna go down like a sack of bricks. I am okay with that. Sack of bricks? How how do you even carry a sack of bricks? It just hurts. It just goes straight down. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. That's the that's the point. Like a sack of potatoes. Can I just ask you a question, real quick? What's heavier, a pound of lead or a pound of feathers? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, just kidding. I just got some. Friend? So yeah, I, I I go down. And you take quite a bit of stress, cause ow. That's yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay. Fun. So yep. you're. That Do is... I hear the face of discharge? Oh yeah, you're yeah. Like, over the over the comm. Computer. <laughs> Computer reroute call to, uh, to medical. Oh, I'm already there. Oh, now here, good. here's Unless... the thing. 
uh, in combat initiative, you can do one of <sighs> two things. Uh, he acted, his turn's over, it goes back to the good guy side, as it were. So either you oh, or yeah. the doctor can act at the moment. Or, I would say Mr. Security Guy can help, but he doesn't know a fight's happening yet. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't think yeah. my talent can come into play here either, which is the quick to action, because I'm not no. there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that depends. Do, do well, you just want to shoot a guy? I need. I have. I have some things that I can do. Um, do it. Do it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going. I can't help him if I go down. So I have to take this guy down. Well, wait. Do first thing you should do, though, is you should like my, minor action and you know call down to the security. Oh, security. Like, yeah. Captain, you know, Captain Down. Yeah. I will note the other thing you do with minor is find cover. Nah. No. Or, or or is or wait, quick question though, is um would calling down to security and saying captain down, would that be a minor? It would be, yes, because she has to tap her comm badge to and take her attention away from the fight for a second. Actually, yep. you're on a ship. You can just tell the computer you don't have to tap your comm badge for that. Yeah, you can just say computer security alert bridge. Fair enough. Shot fired, yeah. So you still have your minor in uh, full action. Uh, so I've only ever been in actual combat once. <laughs> um, and that was, I punched a guy and then he went down and that was the end of it. <laughs> so... Um, you can either minor move over to him and then punch him, or you can minor draw your phaser and shoot. You could minor dive for cover, as it were. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what your task would be at that point because your phaser's not out at that moment. Yeah, you could, so, take a, you, uh, you could spend a momentum to get another minor action. That's true. To draw yeah, the, fire. The downside with that is it increases the difficulty of whatever action you're trying to do by See, one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the cost of swift that. Uh, so, swift so oh. punching is, uh, is daring security, security, right? It's daring security daring. for uh, punching. It's control security for shooting. And when you're punching, it's opposed. If it's control security, it's just a flat difficulty. So you cut out for more than half of that. I oh, have no idea what you, you said. If you're punching, uh, it's opposed daring security. If you're shooting, mm -hmm. it's control security. Uh, normally difficulty two. Yeah, I what I do, Doctor. You are still a robot, so uh, control security is for shooting. Daring security is for punching. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That was what I needed to know. Okay. Um, but I can use thing. Uh, this is bad. Uh... <laughs> rage, rage, rage. Uh, yeah. So I'll. Uh... If they're okay with me doing it, I'm gonna go for cover with a minor. Okay. Use a second minor to draw my phaser, and then use my major to shoot. And okay. ooh, doctor. You and could... yeah, I have some things, so I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm a doctor, not a security officer. Um, <laughs> so I can use medicine. So it'll be control medicine, which is way better than daring security, you guys. Take a moment. Um, cautious. And I have uh, uh, Starship is a home of uh, her crew, her family, and he just attacked my family, so fuck him. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think any of my focuses apply, however, so. They don't, but also take a momentum so you have cautious. Yes. Uh, difficulty three to hit. Is it difficulty? Oh, because you're behind cover, right? Mm -hmm. It's because you swift tasked. Mm. But it's worth it. Yeah, because then you get you get cover and you get the shoot. Mm. Oh, so and I, I have people, cover. and I have help coming, so even if I miss him, at least... So I need to spend another momentum to make that happen. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Let's go. But oh, uh, didn't you spend so for your value? No, in order to do no. Oh, 
Um, wait, here's what? here's my quick. But I get to reroll. Yep. Because we're cautious, but only for one, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's possible the angels could win. It's fine. <laughs> nope. Not enough. Sure. This is not what I built for you guys. You can succeed at cost. You just have to aim higher. Oh, are you going to take threat? It will be lethal, yeah. What? Even at the stun setting, hitting him in the head is not good for you. No, efforts wouldn't. Okay. There's a free moment where she knows from training that if you're hitting the cop, just aim higher. It's like, yeah, but his head's there. And stun <laughs> plasma energy to the face is very bad for human physiology. <laughs> yep. Most humanoid physiology, in fact. Yep. So and not just human. But we miss. Uh, goes That's back fire. to him, but he's already acted, so it goes back to you guys. Uh, because security has been alerted, uh, Mr. Security Guy, you are able to act. It will take you a minor to get up there. Am I... Am I not still carrying Lady? You are. Or have I... <laughs> Is there another security... Does the other security fellow happen to be nearby? Uh, there's probably one nearby, yeah. Here, take this. <laughs> okay. The security guy looks at you confused. Wait, what? What? What's going... Phaser fire on the bridge. I... Okay. Probably tell... The security person where to take this? Yeah, take her to uh, quarters, lock her in her room. Someone else is going to be there soon enough. Okay. You can also cap his comm badge and ask for more information as to what the fuck I was doing. Uh, it will, mi you can minor, uh, oh, actually, you have the computer, you can just say it aloud. Yeah. While en route. Yeah. yeah. Because you're minor so cool. action on your way up to the bridge. Yeah, I'm just walking up there now. Um, We're not going to get to a turbo lift, I imagine, then. Yeah, that's why it's a minor action to get to uh, from one bit of the ship to the other, because it's the turbo lift time. Alright. Um, on the way there, you're informed that there's phaser fire on the bridge, uh, and there is at least one casualty. Hey. Uh, when the bridge, when the turbo lift doors open, uh, you see the doctor is huddled behind uh, some railing. And she's and uh, there is at tactical is a uh, Starfleet officer uh, at ensign who's holding a Type Two phaser and pointing it in her direction. Hmm. There's also and the captain. captain's down, unconscious mm. or dead, possibly. You don't know. That is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> um, so from the sounds of it, I'm behind the guy. Uh, you, you he's to your left. The doctor's in front. Yeah. I take a momentum to minor action draw. Yeah, might as well do that. Minor Shoot the doctor draw. while you can. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, if he's at the tactical Man. station, he's gonna be security, right? And security sticks together. <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> shoot the guy. Um, <laughs> Shooting for stun or lethal? Stunned. I will um, stick Dobby on. I've got the phaser thing, so focus and security control. Ta da 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 da. Hey, hey, that's a hit. Yeah, and I think we get a momentum. I uh, know it's no? three because you have to switch task to because you have to minor get there, minor drop. So yeah, roll your uh, roll the thing next to your. Oh my god. Whoo, that's that's a whiff. Uh, well, no, it, it hits. It's just not enough to drop them, but you can succeed at cost if you just aim up. <laughs> but it, but it. No. He does. <laughs> no. Just aim for the uh, head. So you, no. hit, you hit him in the chest, he kind of kind of flinches back because that got his still attention. hurts. I probably got his attention, yeah. Hey, Doc, don't miss. <laughs> Uh, new round, uh, because he started it, it flips around, so the new round is started by the good guys, so either you or the doctor. Punch him. Go for it, buddy. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna punch him, I've got a phaser. I will shoot him again. Yeah. Oh, wait, take a minor action and aim. Yeah, oh, let's yeah. do that. Yep. Alright, yep, minor action, aim. 
Still the same stuff there. Doesn't matter. You hit him. Noise. Yeah, you your extend your arm and aim down the. Uh, use your arm as a sight and. Doo. That's. And, um, that's five. Slightly better. Yeah, but that's two, enough. Three. Is One, it? Two, three, four, five. Yeah. You hit him uh, a little more squarely in the chest, backward, and and bounces into the wall, uh, the console behind him, and hits the ground, dropping his phaser. Nice. Okay, let's just gonna make sure he's actually down and move the phaser away from him before he, you know, gets back up and doesn't anything to away. You quickly walk, uh, uh, stride over and kick the phaser away, and he's he's out cold. He probably isn't dead because a chest shot with that stun, unless he has a weak heart, he's probably fine. And you, you're usually not a security officer if you've got a weak heart. I mean, you're red shirts anyways, right? Um, there are yellow shirts here. Oh, man. Right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and then nothing. So are we out of? You're out of combat. Yep. Okay. Cool. The right. red shirt's on the floor. <laughs> yeah. uh, the yes. whole bridge is kind of stunned as they stare at what just had the firefight. Oh, yeah, they're out on the bridge. Shirt down. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, uh, uh chief, the ing chief engineer was contacting us. See if we can get him back on hail, and then she's gonna run up to the captain, make sure he's okay. Presumably. I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> you you guys okay? Yeah. Presumably, presumably you can get like a security guy to. Yeah, come onto like the a, bridge. You know, a security <laughs> team arrives to the bridge because of the security alert, and that's actually a task to get security teams to show up. Oh, hey. well, but he has an advantage. That's true. You're right. He can he can call up one for free and make his any difficulty uh, any task. Actually, you could have called it up earlier when he came up. Oh, just well, had a I team of security. Uh, the assumption being they would have been firing along with you and helping you take him down. Yeah, fair enough. Whoops, I forgot about that myself. Whatever. I felt like one man armying this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on. Yes, <laughs> we're here. The captain's down. To, uh, that was Lieutenant yeah. Aaron, right? Yeah. Uh, good work. Um, no, he he had cut uh, he had cut a cable that he wasn't allowed to cut uh, in one of my shuttles. Uh, so I had a hutch. Uh, Varder, you didn't use your uh, value, did you? Which value? You, you didn't, like, use your determination or anything, did you? No? I don't, uh, did I have one? Yeah, you do. You, s you start the session with one. Alright, uh, there we go. No, I didn't use it. I, I still have determination. <laughs> oh. Hey. Woohoo, we have the Astro. That's a, a start. Man, we've been away from them for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been working on other stuff. Right. We, we, cut, we cut back to them, and it's just... Man, that took long, a long time to. Uh, we'll long come back to you, Pen, as you have gotten uh, even. You've been able to install the uh, panel, and you have control over the engine. Um, with the assistance of what's the Meth, is it possible to one find out the location of where this tomfoolery is happening? Like what our soul keeps messing with us, and two, to actually pilot the asteroid towards the Kismet. Uh, if you want to figure out where it came from, it is a uh, reason security or reason science difficulty uh, zero at this point. Because uh, of how much stuff we've done. No, I'll let the uh, lieutenant take point Something's on that role. changed. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the rule again? Sorry. Uh it's reason security or reason science. Reason security or reason science. Reason science, uh, I'll take it. I wonder what myth is going to pick. Uh-huh. <laughs> Probably gonna argue for con again, as usual with Yeah, yeah. The androids just love their uh, control con, you know? Like mm. myth always does. Right. Can I be fitness con? I I really wanna I wanna see if I can lift this. Oh, <laughs> oh. Well, that's uh, two successes and one 
Uh, so complication. The, yeah, uh, GM, you, you want to take that as threat? Oh no, complication comes up. Uh, in that case, I think we might want to spend that two momentum to do it. Huh? Yeah. Oh, right. You, you're an android. You got freebie. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can totally kill it with uh, yeah, uh, two we'll, momentum. We'll kill it. Yep. yep. And it was difficulty zero, so. You get one, I think? No. Oh, you only got one from the, right. Um, well, it appears it was coming from the tactical state. Uh, the signals come from the tactical station of the uh, uh, Kismet. Yep. And the reason it was so easy is because the person who would have interfered with this is unconscious. <laughs> uh -huh. You fucking Wait. spoil sport. <laughs> Very as for, as for flying it, um, it's a... Oh, actually, that's harder. It'd be a uh, daring con difficulty of two. Wait, that, you, you mean that's the person who piloted the asteroid at us? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I, that's why it was so easy for him to know where. Oh, he's there. <laughs> I guess he's a space Nazi. Uh, Jim, how would you like to have some fun with me? I beg your pardon. We don't know each other that well. Um, broke. <laughs> how would you like six for utter bullshittery? And please don't. What are you up to? I, w I want to fly the asteroid. As close to the Kismet as humanly possible by eyeballing it without crashing. Oh my god. No. Uh, I will up. stop you. It's gonna be so much work. Uh, it'd be Just daring it'd hole. be daring con difficulty of three four. No Come three. On. You just don't have any assistance from the shut from the asteroid because it doesn't have any stats. Honestly, what I'd give you, Pen, is Give him two threat and spend a value. Yeah, fuck it, why not? <laughs> well, I would like to do the prove I'm the best slash fuck it, I'm penned value. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the two you just gave me for something else. Of course you are. <sighs> so, so <laughs> can I use helm operations on an asteroid? It, you have a panel attached to it, so yes. And, and what the fuck? Uh, so, so yes, yeah, so that's three dice. That's yeah, that's two agree. automatic successes. Yeah. I mean, we are cultivating this culture. Oh man! So that's uh, that's four, six five, successes. Six. Yeah. So we get three momentum. Correct. Awesome. Just someone else. Neom. <laughs> Neom. Just pick pick up. Uh, Kismet picks up on senses is an is an asteroid just flying around the ship. <laughs> Burning fucking donuts around us here. <laughs> uh, I'd like for that to be a asteroid and a shuttle. So the shuttle eventually. Whoop. Yeah. You call that a shuttle? This is a shuttle. Uh, doctor orders. Uh. You're in command. Space. There is a captain currently oh, lying. Yep. Yep. That's the first order of business: is to see if I can get the captain back up. Uh, Daring Medicine Difficulty 2. Cool. And I spend a momentum. Okay. Uh, emergency Medicine. Oh, yeah. Um, two. I don't know if triage... Well, Emergency Medicine is... No, triage. Oh, I know, oh, this is the... Talent? Yeah, Talent. No. Did you do? I don't think I need to know how bad you are. Yeah. <laughs> I should have used that a couple weeks ago. When I was healing shoulders. Um, What's the captain shot in the shoulder? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, roll three. 
Hey. There we are. That's what I like to see. So uh, if you wish, you can revive the captain. Um, captain has been badly stunned, um, and it did hit the same shoulder. That's why it hurt so damn much. Uh, it hit an already <laughs> injured area of the body, um, or previously injured part of the body. But uh, he'll be fine. You just you can shoot him up with a stimulant, and he'll wake up. Okay. Or you can keep him unconscious and maintain command. Uh, nope, nope, don't want that. <laughs> Just letting you know your options. Don't mind. I flunked my study hall that I had earlier today. Um, oh no! Yeah. I'm gonna wake him. Wake him back up. Uh, yeah. Ow. Ow. Your whole left ow. side hurts. <laughs> oh my shoulder. We're gonna assume we got security to the bridge because we got oh, a yeah. shooter here. <laughs> Easy cap. Oh, and the captain's uh, gonna settle back down into the chair. Uh, Master Chief, uh, uh, we got a call up from uh, uh, oh, Crewman no. DeSoto. Um, why are we imprisoning one of the security guards in uh, quarters? Oh. Oh, oh motherfucker. <laughs> well, this is okay. Well, in the shuttle. time for a general alert. That motherfucking. Oh, oh. Was it? Al Al Alder is fucking free on the ship. Adler. Adler! Well, if she, if she tries to leave, we've currently got a asteroid and a shuttle orbiting the ship. Yes, but I'd rather not have her get to the shuttle bay in the first place, so... Oh, and just as you're about to call out the general alert and start searching around, uh, you guys, you guys have to come out of the, uh... the asteroid field? Mm-hmm. And you see the state. You see a, the the massive starport crashing into the planet in a oh. massive explosion. Oh, I didn't As, do it. And you see the whole planet suddenly had this massive. Think like asteroid and uh, like a uh, extinction level impact. It's a massive space station that's colliding with the planet, and it's creating a massive explosion. Captain's just wide eyed. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that. Warp signature? Um. The captain's just clutching his shoulder in pain. There was a ping. Sensors so uh, detected a uh, warp signature. Oh. Do we have a direction? <sighs> Insight con. Uh, Difficulty are, are, of uh, four. Do we have everyone back on the ship now? Yes. Uh, I should probably make that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give him a threat. Oh, <laughs> my shoulder. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna. Can I use astral navigation as my focus? Definitely. And was it difficulty four? Yes. Could I give you one threat and spend five momentum? Yeah, you can mix and match. I'm gonna re-roll that. I'm gonna re-roll that with zero. Give him five momentum. Oh, Pen. Mm. Have you seen my insight? Thankfully, <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, so the difficulty was, was four. So he also got a complication. Yep. Um, you detect, it takes you a bit of time, but you figure out that it was the SS Tora and it warped away. Do we have a direction? Uh, over this way. Uh, which way? What that? Oh wait, layer right, again. you can't see that. I'm on the wrong layer. God dang it. There we go. Oh god again? Oh. Can I shall I set a pursuit course? Do it. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Does uh, the Naruda have warp capabilities? 
It we'll does. Ro roll back on board the ship, though. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So you guys warp after her? Yeah. Yep. And that is the end of the episode.